<laughs> Sharky. Yes. It's the end of a long, long journey. A journey six months going on seven in the making. Today is the end of the simple 2000 euro trip. I can't believe we run out of Europe. Yeah, I can't believe we covered every game to ever come out in Europe. Every simple game at the very least. Uh, all, all the easy ones. Uh, of course, the series has been our... Looking back on games developed, published by D3 Publisher in Japan under their simple series line, their simple 2000 series. PS2 games, value priced, brought over to Europe, released over there without the simple series branding because Europe had no idea what the hell that was and just released as sort of standalone budget games. And we've played a, a whole lot of games up to this point, and we've only got a few left to cover tonight. That's the premise. Uh, and, and did we think it, it would go on for this long? Did we think it would take this long to cover this many games? I... Not originally. We didn't know how many there were, actually. I think we didn't have a complete list. And we're like, oh, we can knock this out in a couple streams. When we started, oh. so naive, uh, <laughs> when, when we had, at one point, a much shorter list, and then we realized, oh, this is missing some games, then we added on a bunch more, then we realized half these games didn't actually come out in Europe, or half these games weren't actually simple games, and we trimmed it, and it, it ended up being something like 66 games, give or take. Uh, 65 games, give or take, I should say. So, there's f five, six, one of the two. It depends on how we count, I suppose. Left to play tonight. So, and these are also some of the prestige titles, let's say. Uh, th these are some ones that, even if you don't know the simple series, even if you don't uh, necessarily follow D3 as a publisher and things they've done in the years since, or whatever the case may be, uh, you'll still recognize a few of these games tonight, I think. Uh, let's not dilly dally any longer. Let let's face the end. Let's cut to this screen, and let's cut to our first game, which is Global Defense Force, developed by Sandlot, published by Essential Games in Europe. And let's go ahead and get that Japanese cover art for the original release, which was entitled Simple 2000 Series Volume 81, The Chikyu Boijian, Boijgun 2, uh, also known as the Earth Defense Force 2. So yes, this is... Before we had Hell, before we had Hell Divers 2, we had Earth Defense Force. <laughs> Yes, it was Hell Divers was not the first game in history to get a squeakle, as it turns out. There's there's been many squeakles before it, and this is one of them. But yes, uh, the EEF series as we know it today, uh, much beloved. It had to start somewhere. It didn't actually start here. It started with a monster attack, which we covered in a previous episode. But uh, I think this is where EDF really cemented itself. This is where EDF became EDF, even though it's not called EDF here. It's called Global Defense Force. Yeah. But <laughs> we actually, you and I actually did have an opportunity to play um, Earth Defense Force Four together. We we certainly uh, did. Somewhat recently, and it, it's it's fun. I still really like EDF, but unfortunately, like Hell Divers Two came out like right after <laughs> we started playing it. And you know, I love Earth Defense Force, but man, that is that is a hard act to, to follow. With. Yeah, it takes a little wind yeah. out of the sails, uh, if you will. Going back to this this budget alternative. Uh, play alone or play in cooperation? You know, let's just jump right into two player. Yeah. We we've seen monsters. That's the best way to play these games. Yeah. Year 2017. Humanity faced its greatest threat, the onslaught of giant alien saucers. They appeared in our skies and attacked without warning, ignoring all of our attempts to communicate. Giant life forms, gargantuan predators of life that came to be called gigantors, rained down from the saucers. Humanity united in resistance. You know, it takes a crisis to bring people together. The battle was long and horrible, but humanity finally succeeded in destroying the enemy mothership. The invaders retreated. There is peace in the galaxy. Oh, sure enough. 
The end. D3 Publisher, hire me to write your, your prologues here. Year 2018, the Earth Defense Force was formed. In the same year, a committee was appointed for the establishment of a world government. A special ops unit, codenamed the Pale Wings, was also formed. The scars of the invasion Ooh. were healing. But deep we beneath divers in this one? the crust of the Earth, something terrible had been set into motion. Year 2019, terror strikes again! An emergency call from London brings the news all have feared. Gigantors have struck once, struck once more. Earth has been inverted, no, infested. <laughs> you know, man, 2019 sucks, but at least next year is going to be better. I got some bad news for you. I got some bad news for the EDF universe, for the Global Defense Force Monster Attack Earth Defense Force universe. Uh... So, tonight's stream, well, I have two new things for stream. Yeah. Oh, do tell. I'm getting, I'm getting the, the stream snacks out of the way. First of all, the snack will be the Great value, chocolate chip dipped, chocolatey covered chewy granola bar, because they are very cheap, and they actually taste better than the Chex Mix <laughs> uh, granola bars I've had. You take a uh, bite of that, I'm going to comment on. Next spike saying, maybe the giant ants are really weak to COVID and that sorts itself out. Well, it's got a, a better twist than uh, War of the Worlds and the aliens being weak to water. I'll tell you that much. I think one of us has to be a pale wing. Yes, I'll take pale wing. I love All playing right. wing divers. Uh, the other thing is my drink here, which is a Kirkland Signature Extra Strength Energy Shot Blue Raspberry. I, I love a blue raspberry. Uh, I'm a sucker so for a blue raspberry. This is this is a shot. So the first time we see a drink up, this thing is uh, going it down the hatch. Entirety. Yeah. <laughs> right. oh, we'll have, wait, we might have to go back could... into the player settings. I think we want them on technical. Correct? Yes. Good. I believe that is the case. In dramatic staging is where the camera zooms in on points of interest. I'm fully it makes it much harder to play the game yes, in our experience. That off. <laughs> oh, there's your drink up. There, all right, there we go. All right, one moment, please. I'll drink I'll drink a tequila with you. Mm. It tastes so good. Ugh. <laughs> I'm really it's warming up to tequila. <laughs> I think I might choose tequila over whiskey from this point forward in my life. I've really warmed up to... What is this bottle? It was bottom shelf. That's where I get all my drinks from. Tequila Cazadores Reposado. Is there a liquor brand that actually went ahead and called itself bottom shelf? I, I, that's when I'm going to market. That's what uh, when I when we get into the custom drink game, when we start getting into the liqueur business, as, as all... Uh, rich people tend to do when we when we get rich enough we will just call our liquor bottom shelf uh nothing to but to do it they live that's a that's not necessarily love that movie uh, a movie about monsters attacking necessarily but British government has declared a state of emergency this is not a drill so we're gonna save London here I say just let them have it you know honestly uh, yeah. <laughs> you win some you lose some uh do we do it on normal I would say start on normal. Usually the first mission could be also done on hard, but uh, maybe we should just start normal. That's an incredible load screen. Oh no, Big Ben. Oh no, Lar Large Benjamin, no. The, the great time teller of London. Now loading. <laughs> All right, I am on the left. You are on the right, right. Sharky. Yep. I need to remember the controls. Okay. So I got in the tank my, already. You have a tank. I am running people over. Maybe I should have waited momentarily before... Uh... They're, they're ants. Weird, fucked up type of ants. Two legs. Out of the way, people. Oh, no! Okay, there. Okay. there's my... Wing diver stuff. Okay, so you're playing as an infantryman, which has general range of guns and can like drive vehicles and tanks and stuff i think i fucked up I'm because playing... there's a hole in the bridge and it immediately it's fine <laughs> how do i get out of this yeah let's let's get back on the surface okay. so maybe i can actually score some kills something tells me i can't so, drive the tank up the staircase so i am playing as uh in this game they call it a pale wing but uh generally past this they're called wing divers uh they use jetpacks they use energy weapons you can actually see off to the right, um, got like that jetpack icon, that kind of uh, purple, bluish kind of bar. 
that is my energy. So weapon reloads and uh, jetpack and stuff all feed off of that energy. So it's definitely a very different way to play. The, the, the differences yes. are not just superficial. They, they, they are quite mechanical. Already dead. <laughs> huh. I shot my explosive thing way too close to me. L1 is jump. Can I pick you up? Or... No. <laughs> well, that's not good. I wanted to show off the other weapon, but it was like... I forgot how, like, powerful that is. With great power comes great responsibility. That's what they always say. That's what my, my uncle uh, Benjamin told me. The one getting crawled over by ants? Yeah, he, he, he's dead right one. here, right now. <laughs> I, I, I only just heard the I, lesson. I, I, I'll always miss the ways he told me time. <laughs> All right, where are these ants? Oh, there, there are those ants. I, I'm half tempted to just restart the level so you can... Uh, actually play along with me. Yeah. <laughs> but we've come you so could. far. Also, I do not have enough jump to get over that uh, fence. Also, I guess to, to stay in game explaining mode, uh, those green dots on the map are uh, pickups. Armor is what increases your max health in between missions. So the more armor you pick up in one mission, the more health you'll have throughout the rest of the game. Uh... The health packs are just your health right now, and you can also pick up weapons, which are just new weapons to unlock the green missions. It behooves so us to pick are... up anything and everything, I yes. imagine. Maybe leave health until you need it, but like weapons and armor are definitely key. Tag is pointing out that the frame rate is like three times better when Charky is dead. Yeah, when it doesn't have yeah. to account for the both of us simultaneously. Like on Xbox 360, like. Trying to do this two-player, honestly, trying to do this one-player, but trying to do this two-player was like putting your frame rate in single digits. So I'm not surprised that uh, PS4 isn't having a great time of it either. I don't think we picked up much in the way of new gear. Nope. Panic. They appeared without warning, throwing the city into chaos. We have no information yet on where these gigantors have come from. The prologue tells that came from underneath the Earth's crust, but I guess the... Uh, the narrator the knows that. The narrator yeah. knows. Uh, but the, the Earth Defense Force, as it were, the Global Defense Force, is not yet privy to that knowledge. Does this game take you to the center of the Earth at a certain point? I... This one, I don't know. Like, we will def... If it's like any EDF game, we will definitely go underground at some point. Do you think the frame rate I, I was, was this bad on PS2? Do you think this is no, indicative... It was, it was worse on PS2. On an actual PS2, it would have been worse. For sure. You know, we are also scaling the resolution up here, just so it looks better for stream. Usually when I play games, when I'm when I'm just playing them for myself, uh, I actually don't upscale them at all. I just do the internal resolution. I like it to look blurry, as it would on a PS2, that bilinear filtering and the like. You know, something, something, presentation for the stream. Now, how am I supposed to get that armor that's up there? What armor? Oh, I'll get it. Oh, there you go. The wing divers coming in clutch. So the other way you could have done it is just use your rocket launcher to blow up the building. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, drops. too. In fact, let's just have some fun with uh, destruction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that fucking rules. This game, is, this game is good. <laughs> now listen, I already know that uh, it's not the most polished game. It is a bit repetitive because a big part of this game is just like playing missions over and over again to grind out weapons and armor. But this game rules. You're blowing up giant ants. You can just blow the fuck out of a building. <laughs> Grand Tag saying this just makes me miss mercenaries. Oh no, you didn't compare this game to Mercenaries. Is that a fair comparison? Yes, you know, that's probably a fair enough comparison, honestly. It, in terms of, like, blowing up buildings and shit? Yeah. Alright, now I think I we actually, have a bit more gear. Yeah. I was actually gonna bring up Mercenaries, as in, like, another PS2-era game where the whole thing was, like, yeah, you could just blow the, the shit up. Go for it. 
Okay, let me want... let me see yeah, what I got. You go ahead, please. I have con I have control here. Um. So less ammo, dude. Okay. Short ring. I really kind of like the rapier in general, but and I'd rather have a launcher than a plasma green. So I'm gonna stick with this for now. All right, fair enough. In that case, we 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 take on the emergence, and it looks like we're back in uh, Japan for this one. Message just came in from the Japanese government. A swarm of Gigantors are attacking Tokyo. City is under panic. Get back here ASAP. Uh, Dr. Teflon says, well, I don't remember destroying buildings was uh, this easy in early EF. Where's the nearest building I can fucking demolish? I found one. Ha, ah, didn't do it for me. <laughs> now I did it. Okay. I guess to be fair, I'm using a wing diver, so the energy weapons are a little less effective at that. I had to guess. Can I jib this Gigantor? No. No, I can just send no, it bouncing. I can no, just yeah, juggle it. There's copious ragdolling. If you even call this ragdolling. <laughs> physics. Copious physics. How about that? That works. That, that's good enough for me. Alright, I think you're going to take that half of the map. I'll take this half here. Sure. I can't tell if it's north and south necessarily, but... No there's, indicators. Yeah, there's no compass. There's no cardinal direction. As far, no, I know. I think it is like a red arrow, maybe, at the top. Ooh, weapon. Or, no, 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 that can't be it. I think that's just supposed to be a mass of, uh... Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's... Is there one behind me? Uh -oh. the, the, okay. the answer is probably yes. <laughs> no, there's literally one behind me. Yeah, everything's over at you right now. I, I will say one thing... Let me test buttons to make sure... Okay, no. So one thing that I do miss, that is an EDF 4.1 that is not in this one, is you can do... In that game, you can do, um radio call outs like basically like just like say like whatever like scream you can say sorry or or you can sing the edf theme song all four verses of it one line at a time can you can you give us a little sample can you give us a little no because i don't remember it oh no <laughs> i remember one line the edf prevails but Lovely. I love doing it because one, it's so dumb. Like, it doesn't need to be here. <laughs> but I love that it is. And two, when you sing it, every time you sing a, lo a line, if you have any allies near you, they'll automatically sing the next line of the song. Call and response, baby. I just saved your life by getting that guy behind you. Thank you. I just saved you one point of damage, probably more more accurate. <laughs> I mean, I, I am a wing diver, so uh, I am way more squishy. I like the way your character bends, which like, it's, it sounds weird on the surface, but your character is like always like pivoting, is always leaning to one side or the yeah. other. Like I, is, <laughs> it has a very s s sturdy, rigid stance. Like you ever, you remember that we were watching it last night. You remember that uh, Mega sixty four bit where like they're doing Dig Dug and he's just running in circles with the music playing and he's like leaning into it like this. Yes. <laughs> and that was a good time watching his Mega sixty four videos yeah. for like four hours last night. It's good to revisit. Yeah. It's good to dip back in. Uh, so if someone do exclamation point Discord link to the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Encourage people to hang out with us. Also, man, playing this again, first of all, I know we got a lot to do tonight. I'd be fine playing this all night. Well, this we, specific we, game. <laughs> we are going to go a but, little long with games tonight, so we're, we're definitely yeah. going to milk this for a little bit. Yeah. But uh, it also kind of makes me just want to play more EDF 4.1 again. Uh, yeah, Unfortunately, I, I'm like, not right now we're Yeah, right now we're doing like Helldivers, though. If we get Rich. four people, though... Did we fill out a, a lobby, an EDF 4.1 lobby? I think, yeah, I think it is four players for 4.1, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's what the four... It, it's 4.1 players, actually. You, you'll, uh, oh, they, yeah, they yeah. account for some spectator that's, that's looking in from the other room and for in one of the players' uh, abodes. The second you get a I, second I onlooker, only... though, it, it crashes. The thing, I, the thing I don't like about uh, 
4.1. I don't know if there's a way to fix this. Is like the uh, Mr. Armor. Oh, you got all the weapons for this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm noticing uh, that. Um, is that it? Seems like it caps what quality of weapon you can use. So like we were playing it and we did like the first level on hard and got some like better weapons and we dropped it back down to normal and went to the next mission. But it was like. No, you can't use these weapons. They're too good. And I'm like, I don't remember that in any of the older games. Where they're like, no, these weapons are too good for this difficulty. Yeah, it's to prevent people from, like, helping, like, to boost other players, I would presume. Just let it happen. It's EDF. <laughs> the Hive. Yeah, it strikes me as a series that really should taking, be taking meta very seriously. Taking, you know... It's Leveling. SF, Co <laughs> SF Cosmos says the caps are only in online mode. Yeah, but that's how we're going to play it, because we're, like, in different parts of the country. <laughs> All right, so it looks like that uh, that big hive over there might be the, uh, the, the center point of this level. Call me crazy. Potentially. <laughs> but... It also seems like all the ants are congregated around the large... Uh, Hive-like hive object. Yeah. I mean, I could just try and pepper it with... Yeah, if you could just knock the whole hive down. Yeah, I actually don't know if... Whoa, God. okay. I need to stop using explosives because they're on top of me now. <laughs> Alright, I'm finally within striking range. I'm going to try out this bound gun. Oh, which these is have wings. A ricocheting gun. All the bullets are ants. liable to bounce off of the nearest surfaces. Which, let's test it. Yep, hurting myself. They did warn about that specifically. And did I heed their warnings? No. I wonder... I don't know off the top of my head. Um, what games introduce the other classes? Because, you know, this early on we already have... Infantry and wing divers, but they also added, uh, oh god, what what are the other classes? Someone in chat will know what the other classes are called, but like, the heavier classes, there's one that's like, just like, built like a brick shit house, and I think there's one that's more vehicle focused. And I don't know what games added those. They're, those definitely weren't in the Xbox 360 one, 2017. Like, wing divers weren't in, even in 2017. They, they were saying wing divers are our last gen feature at that point before they decided. <laughs> uh, Cosmo says four introduced fencer and air raider. Uh, although Grenatag corrects Cosmo on the names, they're called the Humdinger, the Rudy Tootie, and the Sheriff. Yes, thank you, Tag. Our EDF expert, our go to. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, he I'm hearing some warning sounds. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to my meters enough, so I ran out of ammo while I was also out of energy, so I had to wait for everything to recharge. Do we have to try and take this hive down? I think we just have to kill everything. Because I would I mean, just presume it's going to infinitely that's... spawn stuff until the hive would go down, would be my presumption. In my head, that, that thing is too big to take down, but... I mean, we take down an entire right. skyscraper with a single rocket, yeah. but you draw the line at hives here. I think there's only one left. Okay, I mean, look how huge that thing is. Well, that was the quote-unquote last one. Nope, they're just spawning oh, them okay. in the All center right. of that thing. That's a good way to take care of them, though. Yeah. I forgot, I brought a sniper rifle with me. Maybe we do have to blow it up, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm impressed if something this humongous on PlayStation 2 game is... Um, functional. Not, not functional, destructible. Just destructible. <laughs> but I, I do have to say, this... I think the um, EDF games, or, you know, however they end up getting localized in different ways... From the simple games that I have seen, especially in the Euro Trip, I think these are like the most technically impressive. Especially to be for sure. something that, for, especially for something that is, you know, supposed to sell for like two thousand yen. What's impressive to me is that these weren't 
budget, uh, marketed as being part of the Ultimate series in Japan, which were supposed to be the big ticket games. Project Minerva Professional gets the ultimate treatment. This EDF does not in any of its iterations. Strange branding decisions being made. There are so, there are so many items around here. I have no idea. They might. A lot of these items might be in the hive. You know, oh, why I, would, I go yeah. in the hive. I'll watch the outside. I can only look so high up. I'm like capped at a sort of like 45 degree angle here in terms of up and down. I don't think what I'm doing is, is doing helping, anything. but yeah. So, I mean, Grace, this has to be beatable without a wing diver. So I'm gonna try rotating I I around. I just don't know if there's like a certain piece we should be aiming at. Whoops. Okay, I'm still alive. For now. I just need to go find some health. I... Okay. You know what? You take care of the hive. I'm going to go find more health pickups. <laughs> uh, people are saying uh, the rapier is better for killing the hive. Really? SF Cosmo okay. specifically saying that, which which implies to me that destroying the hive is it should be our priority. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the second I saw that's more spawn in after we killed that first wave, I was like, yeah, we probably need to destroy the hive. And unfortunately, I only brought this sniper rifle and bound gun. I, I, I neglected to take a rocket launcher with me. So... Where do I want to attack on the hive? Just anywhere on the hive? Oh. No, I guess it was just eliminate the enemies. Or I guess maybe both ways work. I don't know. Oh. Doesn't remember if we kill the hive in this mission. Okay. But we, we might well later. All right. I want to check out the equipment. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah we both yeah, have I'm hands control. off. You go ahead. Okay. Yeah, they were saying the rapier has, like, insane DPS. And yeah, it does. It's one of my favorite weapons in these games. Uh, special shotgun that uses plasma launch technology to fire 10 small plasma shots at once. Sounds fun. You know what? I, I will try it. Let me... Put it Put on in my your second. Secondary, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to try the shotgun and go back to a rocket launcher. Do you want the D or do you want the not D? Oh, uh, the D does more damage. Okay. Just seems to be a straight yeah. improvement. All right. So that makes up my mind. Going under. Uh, we're going to the subway now. This will be our tour of the Japanese subway system. By way of this European localization of a Japanese game. I like to keep this for close encounters. Sweep up this area, so like dust I'm helping. room. <laughs> okay. I'll get any ones that you miss. So this is like a, sh almost like a shotgun grenade launcher. Well, it's not, it's not exploding quite as much as the other one is. It is a small explosive. Did I get that armor? Probably. Man, it is hard to keep track with them with just the analog stick. I'll, I'll say that much. Whoa. Is your key to just like reload? No, I, I do not believe. No, I have to get the mag dump. Yeah. Oh! I found some slope. This sent me sliding down. I, I'm gonna say this level, not loving it, not loving how it's all just one texture spread across the floor, the ceiling, the, the walls. Yeah, like the underground levels, I think, are generally the weakest in these games. That was also, when we were playing 4.1, uh, the subway level that we were doing there kind of dragged as well. Especially when we got lost. Can't all be winners. Deeper into the hive we go. Looks like there's one. Like... I'm gonna bunny hop like it's Simpsons skateboarding. So I remember... I mean, I'm, I remember, but I'm doing it right now. Playing these games with the vertical split screen. Yeah, like, do they not know, give you the was... option? I didn't see an option for... Do you want to do this horizontally? 
Let, let's. Uh, so. Ooh, the sound got stuck. I think this, as far as I remember, this is just how it is, and I'm not even. I, I think there's so much verticality that had necessary would yeah. be good. Yeah. But like. Remember, this is how we used to play multiplayer games yeah, like this. I sure do. Just not ha not being able to see things, <laughs> or you just you know confine all the players to the same screen. Just be like, you can't get out of range. Player one is doing all the camera control, is really leading the charge, and you're just an extra gun. Do you remember? I don't remember what game it was, but it was one of the Dungeons Dragons games we did for Dire Dungeons Dragons. Check that video out on YouTube. Uh, we were playing like a co-op. I don't remember the name of it. Of game. Yeah, but, but it was like, like a 20, we 2010s both had game. camera control at the same time, which was a bad idea, as it turned out. Yeah, when, when you give it to a couple chuckle fucks like us. I don't know where these last enemies are. Oh wait, hold up! Thank you for spitting at me. Yeah, I, I see one. Yeah, this this is a very convoluted. One. Right, series one of uh, more strands behind here. me? Abo it's above you. Oh, wait. He's right here. Finish the fight. Okay, I gotta know while this. Okay, yep, that does hurt me. I just wanted to know. All right. Uh, Wide range plasma shot. M load. Oh, you got, you got a missile. Uh, well, we'll have to try that. Well, th th this next level will be the last one we play in this game. All right. We have time, but we should also be, you know, considerate I, of our I, time. It's a homing missile. Okay, so that's better for, like, if we have a level with, like, flying enemies in general. Like, maybe this next one will. Who's to say? Okay, that does 5 damage versus 10 damage versus 10 damage. Let's stick with the bound gun. All right, I let like me check out. Oh, oh, sorry. Wait. So, okay. SF Cosmo saying, try Inferno Wait. for a chuckle. <laughs> yeah, just lose immediately. Where's my... Huh. Plasma shot wide range. Uh, it's already equipped, but I don't see... Oh, no. It's... That's the shotgun one I have. Okay, I just picked up a duplicate. Pitch Black, developing even more fearsome abilities, more than capable of nocturnal aggression. So we're doing a night level. Uh, as we speak, a city of sleepy citizens is under siege by a horde of gigantors. Talk about a nightmare. Get over there and put their put their lights out once and for all. We'll do it on hard. How about that? Split the difference. I actually think it would be fun to do just jump into the very first mission on whoa these bloom of <laughs> what would we even call this Vaseline on the screen? Uh, some something you you it, it's something that's for sure. Uh, I think it would be fun to jump into the very first mission on Inferno and just see how quickly we get destroyed. Sure, yeah, why not? Because we we don't have like a lot of armor at all. What is this lighting effect? It's so bizarre. Yeah, this. I wonder if this is emulation. If this would just look better on a CRT with like the phosphor glow or what have you, with like blending. Oh, but, I can't really destroy buildings very well with this gun. Yeah, I discovered I can't with mine either because my missile just diverts to the nearest enemy. So, actually, I you know I could probably could with a. Yeah, I mean, it's not that hard to do with the rapier. If I just keep yeah, shooting yeah. these missiles, they'll find the enemies for me. Because they're certainly not going, like, in front of me. I'm just going to keep shooting at this building, and wherever these rockets go... Yeah. <laughs> it ain't my fault. One thing is, something... Ah, armor. Gotcha. Oh, that's you. Scooped you. Go, missiles. Tell us where the enemy is. 
Gee, I sure hope there's no one inside of that building. I sure hope there were no sleepy citizens inside of that building there. <laughs> you know what you say, you gotta bring a few eggs to uh, make an omelet. Oh, uh, thanks for bringing that bridge scary. down right on top of me. Didn't do any damage, mercifully, but... Weapon. This seems doable. Oh yeah, they're they they are hitting a lot harder though. They they uh, are especially but... for me. I I am a very I am a very uh, weak character. You're gonna get your wings clipped. Kind of wish there was like a night vision mode for this because these these dark ants are, are blending yeah. in with the darkness of the stage. You know what the softening is? You know what the glow is? It's to help it so that the bugs really stand out in front of the light sources. So you need to really be like it's trying actually, to yeah. like silhouette them, trying to put the bugs in front of the building so you can line up your shots and like really distinguish where they are. Would be my guess. Or it could be an emulation error. <laughs> yeah, you know, either way. One of the two. But whatever this thing is, is on top of this bridge. Yep, it's a big health. I need that. Oh, something is right here with me. Hello. Oh, there you are. All right, I'm heading for that building, which hopefully I can just, if I could blow up that so building with missiles, that would be so cool. Because then I could just kill all these ants. Yeah, there we go. No, that won't kill them. That will bring them down. It's a start. Yeah. Boot. Okay. Keep it together, fake PlayStation 2. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sh running backwards and yeah. shooting. I, I presume there are bugs in front of me. I, I hear noises in front of me, and I'm just going to put plasma where I hear the noises. Oh, I ran out of... I ran out of... Uh, what are I, what are, what's the worst way I could describe this? Uh, I ran out of uh, lady juice. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awful. I ran, I, I ran out of juice to power my lady. <laughs> Technical term. I wish you could ping stuff in this game. Did you ping in uh, 4.1? Was that a thing we could do? Don't ask me to remember. I don't... Yeah, it's been a little while since we played it. Oh, Okay. If you see a hell, if I, I need a hell. <laughs> well, it's not a problem anymore. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, there's not too many bugs left. I got so some health here, you want it? <laughs> it's... You definitely killed me. <laughs> I killed you? Yeah. How? You shot me with a machine gun. <laughs> well, I was I... running in front of you when you were shooting. Well, that, that's your fault for getting in the way of my line of fire, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you're you're not wrong. Hey, the go. EDF prevails. Cosmos. Yeah! Cosmos says you can't ping in 4.1. Yeah, I thought so. Battle ramp. Okay. Last thing we do here. Let's, well, Shoot let me some see what good guns. Yeah. And then let's see what... The first mission on Inferno looks like. Very powerful short range can designed for destroying enemy combat troops in a single shot. Releases all charged energy in the Oh, all mm, okay. Well it's I'm gonna just keep the here. It's a very good weapon. It seems to be the one that people are, are talking up, so. Yeah. Invaders! Alright. Well, this one would have a cool mothership we could destroy, but you know, maybe consider playing this game for yourself. If it looks mm -hmm. fun to you. Or get one of the newer ones. Uh, EDF 6 is coming out this year, I think. Oh, SF Cosmos says Battle Ram is your only chance. Oh, I don't I don't intend on uh, living through this one. Yeah. This one is entirely, let's see how long until we die. This feels more realistic in the sense that... Uh, I haven't killed them. It takes more than a mag to kill them. Yeah, I, w I think I was hurting you, which means it's your fault. Yes, yes, yes. I have no double standard. 
Well, let's try the rocket launcher. Dead. Let's try the tank. And we fell again. Oh, that's an interesting camera angle. <laughs> that's gonna do it for global defense force yeah. i think but before uh we, we we back out let me let me make sure to save first because i'm this game don't auto save yeah i will happily save save successful very good uh and that game was very good uh but by my by my measure in, in my esteemed opinion. Yeah. We'll get to the ranking at the end of the night, but uh, that one's going to be pretty high, I think. We're not going to travel too far away on this Euro trip from uh, Global Defense Force just yet. Uh, because the next game we're about to play is going to be Global Defense Force Tactics. Uh, this one is a Think Arts development published again by Essential Games. Uh, and we should consult the Japanese cover to this one, which is very similar. And the title of this one is Simple 2000 Series Volume 103, The Chikyu Buijun, Buijun Tactics, which is just the Earth Defense Force Tactics. Very consistent naming between these ones. This I'm interested because in I don't know what this one is. Like, I've seen this name on the list. But I don't know what makes this tactics. My guess, strategy game. My guess is they're trying to maximize the IP and in trying to, at this point, like, you know, see what else they can do with it, how far they can stretch it, make it a multi-genre affair. Not unheard of for the series because there is a Wing Divers uh, shmup. My controller is just constantly vibrating right now, by the way. It's so excited. Can't wait. More EDF, EDF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vibrating. Take me out to the sand lot. Yeah, I tried making that, s switching the that reminds me. On the on the topic of like bad games, um over the past like I think two days I've been playing a lot of games from Outright, uh publisher, who do a lot of really bad um uh, licensed games. And I don't think they're anything we would stream here because while they're bad, they're just the boring kind of bad. Yeah. You know, they wouldn't make good stream material. But I will say, I have never... I don't think I've ever played a game for Xbox that had vibration as just wildly out of control as those outright games. By the way, turning it off and on again in the menu did not stop the vibration. So I'm, I'm putting that one to, to, cool. uh, to do emulation, some weird, like, loading thing. Um, in 2017, a large UFO arrived from space, merciless to the masses of people. It soon began to annihilate them. The onslaught continued as a series of giant creatures were released upon the population. Over the course of a long, hard battle, humanity was finally able to destroy the alien mothership, blah, blah, blah. I think this is just the same plot as the game we had just played, but it's going to play okay. in a different perspective. Like... Every now and then, a sentence will end with the word "tactically." Uh, yeah, look at that. That's, that's Big Ben in the in the background of that one. Yeah. So this is like a just a strategy for register units that will take part in the mission. Weird. The following conditions apply to registering units: cost, required units. And they. Good luck. Uh, do you think what are those ships called? Uh, That's Pale Wing. Pale Wing the... close range. Let's get one Argantis. of each of the required. And then maybe a couple extra. There's like equipment you can load out to. This is weird. Did they ever do anything else like this again? Who's to say? I ask the chat more or less. <laughs> uh, I just registered one of everyone. Because we had the money for it. Oh, the vibration just stopped just now. Oh. Oh, boy. Uh, can you say J2ME? Uh, 
Huh. EDF! Yeah. Do you think the frame rate will be able to handle this? I, you know, who's to say? Okay, this goes one of two ways in my mind, right? The way I think it will work and the way I think it should work. The way I think it'll work is that you, you know, encounter an ant and it goes to like a uh, advanced wars kind of view where you see like sprites shoot each other and then it says like, okay, these, these ones are one. The way it should work is that when you encounter a square, you have to fight with those troops like, like it's an EDF game. That's a barracks. This is a barracks. I could get units to come out of this barracks. I could, I or that barracks in there. I cannot get the units to come out of that barracks. How about this barracks? But, uh, there is a parallel universe where this is the version of EDF that took off and kept getting iterated on. I think there needs to be like a skip turn or end turn. End. All right. They're going to take their turn. Okay, great. They definitely moved and did things there. Probably, presumably. Units deployed. Okay. Wait, no. Go, go back in. What? <laughs> Are we waiting on something? Or am I waiting on them to be, like, available and ready? Like, again, I'm sure this is one where, you know, a manual would help. Or an in-game tutorial, you know, whichever they feel like doing. Overpower enemy headquarters or without giant creatures within 22 turns. Let's just end turn. Okay, reinforcements. This has got to be, like, where the enemy, where, where our guys start to actually come out, right? Something? Anything? I... Okay. They're moving forward. I saw that much. I'm trying every combination of button. Oh, thank God. Okay, here we go. Wait. Wait. I guess it took them several turns to get ready. Would be my presumption. We're just gonna stand in a line a defensive row. And can I spawn some more of my troops? No. Maybe these guys need to die before... They don't even have, like, descriptions in here. You know what? I'm confident this will just work. I'm confident that these guys standing by. Oh, reinforcement. So I guess it's it's two phases we get. All right, I'm starting to pick up what's laying down. All right, so we are calling for the reinforcements now. We're going to end our turn. The monsters will approach. We will engage. I can start to deploy these guys now. Sorty. Oh no. Don't tell me. It has to load these animations like some fucking battle chess. Every time one unit attacks another unit. Don't tell me there is a load every single time there is an exchange like this. That was one turn. No, that was one battle. Let's attack another one. It looks good to me. 
fuck off. I, I have straight up seen DOS games with like cinematic like battle screens like this, like the likes of a battle chess that have been more efficient in the way they they make you wait for that shit to happen. You know what? You don't even need to move. You can just stand right there and shoot this thing down. Ay ay ay! <laughs> There's no multiplayer in this one, by the way. So you can't just battle against a friend. As far as I can tell, maybe the free battle mode. I wonder what's going to happen here. Here to hazard a guess? Right, how much of what I was saying did you actually hear? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. You've been quiet for the past, like, two, three minutes. All right. What I was saying was, first of all, I like how it shows you the uh, what the outcome of the fight is before the animation starts. So you can see that the spider is going to die, and now you get to watch the spider die. I've been rewarded. Uh... People were asking if you can turn off the battle animations to cut down on load times, which at that point, it would just be like a J2ME game. Hold on. Battle animation off. Let's see the hex frame. I think that's going to be like outlines around every spot. Yeah. Which I, I prefer. No! Oh, you, you, you selected exit mission. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what the hex line you, setting is then. Well, <laughs> you you turned off the hex line setting. Oh god damn it! Okay, there, there we go. go. Let's put out some more wing divers. Oh, I'm also thinking like, I, you have to imagine though that of course this would load if they're doing like 3D models. Like of course this it, PlayStation 2, it's gonna it's not gonna be instantaneous. <laughs> No, certainly Rin, not. The, the, solu the solution would be don't do that, but uh, this game is so curious. That, that was the attack. It, it flew yeah, right okay. by. No animation. Wait, can I? Oh, wait, no, right. So I end this turn. This is my reinforcement phase. And here is where I could go into this and potentially spawn more or no. That one has limited. Yeah, so they can only come out of this one. Sure. End. And then next turn we'll have access to those extra troops. Was I was I muted when I said the bit that, you know, you have to imagine there's a parallel universe where this is the version of EDF that went on and the other version, the third person action version, was like, eh, no, this is just, this was a good idea, but, you know, it's not in our wheelhouse. The answer is yes, you were muted for that. Okay. Wow, this really loses a lot without the animations. Yeah, yeah. I'm turning them back on. <laughs> you know, let's turn the moving speed to fast. Because it already seemed very fast. So how much faster can fast be? I'm guessing uh, instant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, give or take. Again, really just like... Wait until after the animation before you show the health total change. Uh, that, doesn't Fire Emblem do that? Where it's just like, here's what the outcome of this turn is going to be. And you decide remember, whether it's logical to take this turn or not. It's okay. But in this case, you do you take the turn and then after you've already committed, it shows you the life change and then it loads up the animation. Like, you're not going into these fights knowing how you're going to come out of it. Unless there's some bit of UI I'm missing. No, I think it's just... Wait. So can I not attack that bug as this unit? Do you, do you have to, like, 
be able to move it on top of the bug? That doesn't make sense. I'll, I'll put them right there. And like God sort it out. I don't think this one's going to rate as highly in my books. No. As the other one, as the more traditional EDF games. I, I feel like this is, in my my head, this is going to rate in the realm of functional and not for us. But I mean, someone who's looking for a strategy game. Seem, it does seem like a boring one of these, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's just, even like if you're going generic budget strategy game, which is, you know, what, what the D3 publisher mantra was, was making generic versions of genre games. Even for to that, extent, though, this is a extent, stretch. To an extent, it's kind of hard to judge one of these games based on just the first level. Like, there's always the possibility that, like, a later level will add, like, interesting twists and turns and, like, the new unit types and weapons will make things interesting. I don't think this game probably has it in it, but I will bear that in mind, that we're only seeing one level. And that is the introductory level. Let's get these tanks out. All right, end, and we we shouldn't have any reinforcements left. Yeah. Yep. So let's just end it and let's let the monsters attack. Did they not attack any of our troops? Any of our units? You, we, I presume we would see maybe animations they're... if. Maybe they're just focused on the buildings. Well, we're gonna see a tank in action now. Tank versus Ant. Whoever wins, we lose. <laughs> oh, you know what they haven't done yet? Impress I me. Think. <laughs> no. I mean, as a series, as EDF as a series, is a game where you play as the alien forces. Ooh! Even, oh, if, no, see, even that if that was just an asymmetrical multiplayer mode in, like one of like the standard EDF games if these added mode was like you play as the ants you control the ants okay what if the the whole tactics game thing what if that was you play as the aliens like you are the mothership and you say like okay we're going to we're going to plant down this hive to make these ants and this nest for these spiders and yeah there's other like and there's you know that's an RTS right there what i'm describing yeah, you're like, describing every RTS, basically. I'm just yeah, I'm describing like playing as the Zerg. Yeah. <laughs> that that could be what I mean, if it weren't for the fact that I don't that uh RTS isn't exactly a hot genre right now. Oh no, you don't say yeah, it, it, an RTS well, I mean a Terminator RTS just, did just come out. That is that's true. They're they're testing the waters but, again. Uh wasn't there also a Star, uh, Starship Troopers RTS? Oh yeah, you're right, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I think, like, an EDF RTS where you can play as the aliens. That would be good. D3, get in touch with me. I'm surprised we're still playing this one. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm so close to finishing this mission. There's only that many left and I'm, I'm moving close we could probably take out the mothership if, if i really like focus on moving troops in this direction do you want to like bring do you have more uh do you have anyone else to bring in or are you this is all your troops these are all my troops i capped out at 15 here what's he gonna do with that grenade i wonder Taunt the spider, like, I have this, haha. -ha. You want it? Come get it. I really thought it was going to be a rocket launcher because that's what the dude is carrying in his sprite, but, uh, you know, equipment. I'm sure you could swap it out. I'm sure you gain, like, equipment and stuff at, at the end of these levels. We're going to find out. I'm going to finish this level. That is the commitment I am making. Bring the tank in. Bring this maintenance guy in so we can resupply everyone there. Uh, is that all my units? I think it is. 
There are no reinforcements, so I can just end immediately. All right, now oh, they're attacking attacked. us. I don't know who they're attacking. I guess we'll find out here. Come on, random grunt. I believe in you. And just straight That's into weird. another. Because you, do, because you did set it the fast. I just want to see one of these guys, one of our guys, actually get hit by the ants. They've been doing the dodge. They've been very effective in dodging. I swear we saw someone get hit earlier. We saw one of the wing divers get hit. All right, I'm going to send this tank to the shoot the spider. They meet up so cordially. They're like, hello, hello. <laughs> there should really be music during these. Yeah. Like, that is a massive presentational oversight, to be sure. Born Ralph. Born Sam. <laughs> Another day at the office. Sure is. Ugh. All right, is anyone in range of the mothership? No, I'm going to have to fight my way through. Wait, no, Wing Diver can... No, Wing Diver can't fly no. over these things. The only way through is through. I wonder if I can skip these animations by pressing X. Yes. I had to skip through them shot by shot, though. No, I didn't want to skip that. You had to know what was going to happen. Yeah, I was on the edge of my sheets. All right, here we go. All right, I cannot attack the barracks. Oh, no, uh, that's, uh, that's the mothership is, is there, is the headquarters. This is just something else. Did the ants convert a building into barracks? Maybe? Boom, headshot. All right, let's, let's wipe this one off the map. Battletech09 asks, just tuning in, is this some really early EDF game? And this is 2007. <laughs> ay ay ay. Uh, so it's, it's that early. Yeah, it, it, this is they base. This is basically Earth Defense Force 2, but a tactics game version of it. And like, it's the same. This is the same first level in terms of what they said we were doing, but it's taking like, you know, 10 times as long because it is now a tactics game. As if Cosmo saying it's a tactics spinoff not made by Sandal. Yes, the developer on this one is Think Arts. Because when I think arts, uh, I'm definitely thinking of what they're laying down here of that overworld screen. Maybe they're like, Maybe they're actually like a racing game developer. <laughs> Thin carts. They actually, the capitalization is actually think is all in lowercase, then the A in arts is capitalized, and then RTS is is lowercase. RTS is lowercase, it's not an RTS game, it's, it is a turn-based strategy game, so... You know, the, their name works on so many levels. And when they do come out with EDF kart racing, they'll, they'll bring them back. They'll bring back the label for that. Are you looking forward to what used to be Bloodborne Cart coming out? Uh, I'm, I'm happy it's coming out. It's neat that it's coming out. I'm not particularly interested in playing it. You know what other game I, I also don't like at all? Is that Sonic Robo Kart. Uh, whatever it's called. The one that's like that built, built in built GZ Doom. Doom. Yeah. GZ Doom specifically, yeah. Yeah, yeah, GZ Doom specifically. It being its own engine at this point. Uh, you know, it's cool. It's great that it exists. It's great that it has such a community around it, like creating maps and characters for it. Like, I'm always happy to see that stuff. It's awesome to see that stuff. Gameplay ain't for me. Uh, Video Game King uh, says, this game's from the same people behind Come On Baby. Yeah, that... Which uh, was almost one of the ones we did, but didn't technically come out in Europe. Yeah, it didn't come out as a PS2 game in Europe, uh, which was a, a misimpression. It came out in Korea, 
and where it was English localized for Korea. But, uh, and, and so that threw us off for a bit. But then they came out with a version of that game on Steam, which is a worldwide release, so... Maybe one day we'll play that just because it's such a strange fucking thing that exists. I mean, I guess it's not that strange in a world where Imagine Party Babies also exists, which is effectively the same fucking game. It looks bizarre, though. You know, we're not going anywhere. Stream ain't going anywhere. We have time. Large red ant. This, this ant's going to be slightly different. They, they promise that this ant's going to be red and large. Truth and well, advertising. Oh, it is a big ant. It is red. I think it's going to take two turns to kill that one. And rather than see these same animations twice in a row, let's skip to the part where... Got him. All right, you. Kill that dead. Again, this, this load screen shit. Egregious. <laughs> Imagine I'm like a first generation PlayStation 2. Like a PS2 on its yeah. way out. Can you park your um, dudes on top of that building to capture it? I, I would presume so. I know you're so. out of turns right now, but... That would be my assumption. Oops. Misclicked. Right, I'm you... sure that one ant is like, yeah, I got this. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to clutch this one. Clutch or kick, ant. We have no reinforcements to spawn. Do you think this entire issue would have been solved if everyone in London just, like, you know, cleaned up their desks, stopped eating, you know, <laughs> crackers upstairs? Uh, Louis PSC says, yeah, no, they have finding ways to stop the animations. We did find ways to stop the animations, but it made the game that much more uh, boring in the sense that there's just nothing to it without these animations. And I want to see if there's an animation for, for capturing the headquarters. I'm going to imagine there's not a bespoke animation for that. Well, tell you what. Yeah, try, try getting someone on there. Maybe let's let's try a ground troop. Overpower. Overpower. Okay. Okay, so you're going to have to hold that location, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to do a few turns in which we... Continue to Although, overpower, overpower. It'll take up 40% each time. So two more turns. I think... I think... In the amount of time that we've been playing this one, we went through like six levels in EDF2. Yeah. Or Global Defense Force. I mean, you know, different genres are different folk. Maybe that's it, too fast. Yes. There are people who just aren't going to be able to wrap their minds I mean, around a a, a real-time yeah, action it, game of that sort. It, it is not particularly fair, I guess, to say that, oh, man, this tactic game is so much slower than this action game I was playing earlier. But by measure of comparison, but it being the same franchise... But yes, it being an EDF game that is this measured is very odd. Now, I, I thought there was a chance that might have ended the mission right then and there, because one of the objectives... That's what I thought. One of the win conditions is just... No, maybe this... I have to just end the turn, and then it'll... Okay, it spawned a new enemy, yeah. so enemies are continuing oh. to spawn at this point. Big red ants are continuing to spawn at that. Next Spike says, uh, I would play this, but I really like this kind of game, and it's okay one of those. Okay is good enough. You know, for some. Yeah, like, again, that's that that's what I'm thinking with uh you know, when we eventually rate this, is that I'm definitely not gonna rate it highly, but I'm going to rate it with the understanding that this is not my kind of game. 
Why'd you take your people off? I want to see if the rocket dude did more damage, which he does. He, the rocket dude did 50, whereas the oh, infantry okay. dude, the storm unit, only did 40. So there is an element of who you want to get there first, because different units, and the wing units cannot overpower the headquarters or mothership or whatever, from what I can gather there. Next bike says, I've played worse tactics games, but I've played much better too. A whole wide world of, of tactics games out there, and this is certainly one of them, and I swear this will be over soon. You could also have just ended your turn to force the next turn where you overpower and win. Yeah, but I want to clean my plate. Ha! Oh, never mind. Plate clean. SSSSC. S but that's still an S rank. You're, I'll take I, it. I don't know. <laughs> Pandora revised. Yeah, sure. Save that, game. Save that data. Someone in the chat said there were 50 missions in this game. Continue mission? And no, thank you. Uh, that is all right. I think we've seen all we need to see of Global Defense Force tactics. Uh, you know, God bless them. They tried. Okay, so that was the Global Defense Force EDF portion of the night. Uh, we are now moving on to the Zombie Hunters portion of the night with Zombie Hunters 2. Uh, this was developed by Tamsoft, published by Essential Games. You may know this better under its Japanese branding. And here is the Japanese cover to pair. And I spy a Riho on the cover of this one. And the title of this in Japan is, of course, Simple 2000 Series Volume 80, The Oni Champuru, also known as The Sister Remix, if you're to loosely translate that. This is, of course, an entry, an early entry in the Oni Chambara series. I believe we played the first one in a yes. previous stream, and I, I have saved. Wait a minute. I just realized that was the wrong cover. I oh, was showing the covers for two. What I actually meant to show was this cover here. This is, this is the Zombie Hunters. And the Japanese cover looks like this. And Ryo's still on the cover. Riho's still featuring prominently in this. Good for her. Getting those acting roles. Uh, and So, so uh, this is basically an upgraded version of Onichambara. And it introduced Riho and Makoto as playable characters. So it is the first game again, but with some new stuff added. Again, for the very first time. Uh, I put you in control of this one. Oh, okay. Do me a favor, set it to 60 hertz, yes, then start game at the bottom. And I'm leaving this in your capable hands. I think, I think we made a mistake in me playing the first of the, the Oni Shambara games in the simple series here. You are the Oni Shambara experts. Being the one who streamed Onishimaru the full origin, <laughs> yeah, which <laughs> plays a lot different. Warning: this game, this game contains violent and grotesque scenes. I wouldn't have it any other way. Tamsoft, Zombie Zone, the oh. other side. No, just the other side. Right. Oh, <clears throat> start button. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. All right, good enough. <laughs> West. See, it's the same as yeah. It's the same as uh, the other Only Chambara games I played, where as you complete like milestones, you will unlock things. The beautiful dancer of death, the flawless queen, a bizarre woman, crazy libido, genocide, exaltation of death. Alright, now, is this a true Oni Chambara game? Does it just open with a single screen, text scrolling up? God willing. Oh, I gotta play as Riho. Yeah, Riho is Wait, the, the I, mascot for Riho, this. Riho, parentheses 19. Is it like Android 19? What was it say for, doing? for the other character? Let's see her portrait again real quick. Just I, Aya. Yeah, that's strange. Strange choice. I'm assuming that's supposed to be her age, but... Yeah. Like, just... 
Why don't why don't we know Aya's age? Why are they hiding from us? <laughs> Never ask a woman Aya. her age. Yeah. Aya, fifty. You should never ask a woman their age or their weight because you got to keep the carnival barkers it, guessing, uh, guessing, you know? It, it's, it's an Oni Chambara game. My name is Riho Futaba, but for what it's worth anymore, my body is now out of my control. It's as if it were completely controlled by someone else. That person there, the controller. <laughs> Everywhere here, the atmosphere is different from usual. The birds are not singing. The city streets are empty. Uh, what? This smell. A stench is coming from the cemetery, like something decaying. Well, gee, I wonder. Someone left a, a pot be? roast out, and it's it's starting to rot. Anything else? Gotta. I decided not to go to the cemetery because it was stinky. Nope, oh, nope. All right, let's check my control. Oh. No, no, no not such yet. luck. Oh, uh, next Mike pointing out that Riho is in high school in some games, so they're making super sure you know she's over 18 in that bikini, I think. But, you know, first of all, most most games with Riho in it, you have to unlock the bikini. So, you all know, right. they're just giving to you right out the gate in this one. And no which, which ones is she a high schooler in? Of all the games we played, which I guess, you know, all the European, there's, there's probably more games that were Japan exclusive in which maybe there is, like, a high school angle to them. Okay. Uh, R1 is move the camera forward, attack, heavy attack, jump, special. Uh, L1 is clean my blade. And if this were virtual hide light, you can break open the gravestones to get the, uh, get some early items to hopefully get the dark blade. Article on site badgamehealthing.com slash virtual dash. Hide lied, by the way. Magic Mail is saying, don't you hate it when you end up in your bikini at the cemetery? If I if I had a nickel she, for every time. She elected to go to the cemetery like this. Well, she was on her way to the beach and she smelled that smell. And she's like, well, I have to investigate this. I got to see what smells so stinky. So, something smells like it's decaying over the cemetery. I got to figure out what this mystery is. <laughs> Okay, I can't... I can't clean my blade in the air. Famous air blade cleaning technique. The advanced tech. Let's try this tech. There we go. Seemed effective. I think that took some of my health to do that. XP, what do they call those in beat -em ups Desperation moves? Yeah, they call that dub sometimes. Something about the way she animates is disconcerting. Oh, yeah, I'm you don't say. About, I'm not just talking about the jiggle physics. I'm talking about, like, the way her body is, like, bending around. It's, it's a battle stance. You just, you know, you're not combat trained enough to, to understand Oh, this it. is also a lock-on. Okay. I can hold R1 to lock. Video Game King saying that Riho's debut game is a high school dating sim. Make of that what you will. Uh, I think I can open this up and not distract you at all. Yeah. Uh, Love Song's Idol Ga Classmate, which was a Japan exclusive release. You know, I'm looking at the cover to this. I think that's specifically what the pinball, the, the Idol pinball table in that one pinball game we played in one of the previous episodes. Oh, yeah. I think it, it, it took it probably sense. with like the, the CG, like the, the cutscenes that played on the table and little video window on there. I think they must have come from that game. So far, this seems just identical to the, the yes. first. It is. <laughs> this is the first game, but with new characters. I mean, it looks like just new character. So there's unlocks. Do you like, happen to know uh, any of those unlocks offhand? Uh, I forgot her name already, but it's Rio's sister. M Makoto, I think? That and, sounds right. Uh, probably Saki, if I had to guess. Who would otherwise just be the Aya's final sister. boss in this game? Yeah. I think Saki was uh, unlockable in the first one, too. I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't have a lot of experience with that besides, uh, besides a little origin. bit of Zen 2 Chaos and Origins.
We'll see who's unlockable, who's playable from the start in the, the second game. Yeah. Uh, in this. Do a get off me. Oh, that didn't kill anybody. That's a thought that counts. Oh, she's starting to get she a little might... covered in blood. Yeah. Although, I, if that... If my blood is that gauge up, above what I think is my health, then it's not that full up. Yeah, you're just getting a little bit of splatter on you. Yeah, like... I... Except for Origins. I think Origins did the Berserk mode fine. Uh, I hate it in all the other ones. Because, like, you get powered up, but you're constantly losing health. And I don't like that system of, like, oh, you're playing the game good to competent levels. Uh, now die. Yeah. <laughs> Punishing players like, at least... for doing too good, for having too high a combo. So, like, in Origins, like, there's two levels to it. One is just, like, increased attacks and it is a reward. And if you go further than that, then you'll start taking damage. But when you take damage... You can gain health back by keeping up a, uh, pressure, which is a good system. God, that panning is bad. Take a breather, Rio. I think there was like a shrine in the other direction, if I remember from the brief bit of this I played in the original version of this game from the previous episode of the Euro Trip. Oh. The mayor's gonna check that out then. Actually, wait, am I being kept here? Is it. Or can I just go? No, I think you just go. Oh, there's more zombies over there. Eh, I'll take care of these first. So, how about Maybe that I battle plan? Why am I. Uh, so, you go. <laughs> I was like, Maybe I should explain the sword cleaning mechanic that as it gets covered in blood it'll eventually become more dull i guess it'll do less damage so you have to clean it off to keep your damage up remember that villain from batman beyond who's like the assassin lady who has a blade that's been sharpened to like the width of an atom so like she can like just oh. cut through like literally <laughs> anything she comes back for like two or three episodes i think she's the most recurring villain uh, besides uh, Ink and and uh, Mr. Powers or Blights. <laughs> uh, Devious Vac, uh, De Devious Vacuum, who guessed it in the Oni Chambara uh, origin episode, is here in chat now, having heard the siren call of Oni Chambara. Without checking what the stream was about ahead of time. Oh, Falcon the Fearless saying, This is like Oni Chambara. This is Oni Chambara. Yeah. Well, technically, it's Oni Champuru, <laughs> but it's also Oni Chambara. Very astute observation. <laughs> oh, Tiger Chimera saying the Joker gang in, in response to my Batman Beyond stuff. Yeah, I guess if you count the, the gang, like, they do have recurring characters in there. So anyway, how about that Battlefront? Uh, how about that Star Wars Battlefront Aspire? Uh, the, what is it? I'm trying to remember the actual name. The Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, which is currently bombing on... on yeah, that's what I've heard. Uh, because they completely fucked it, because it is obviously only multiplayer. It is a multiplayer-centric game. They have three servers up with 200 oh. players max uh, across what? them. What? So, How? How do you do that? Because I think they severely underestimated... I mean... 10,000 people, apparently. I think that is the range of players who were, like, trying to play it at the same time on, like, launch day. And, you know, even that low a number they didn't account for, somehow. How do you be like, uh, this nostalgic Star Wars game that uh, a lot of people loved? Like, yeah, no one's gonna want this. Or just even, hey, this Star Wars game, no one's gonna want this. Let's, we don't have to worry about the servers. Yeah, there's apparently a lot of things wrong with it. Like uh, BattleTech09 in the chat pointing out that another problem with the Battlefront Classic Collections multiplayer is that they vastly increased the player size per match, but didn't edit any other values. So you have 100 lives for each side with 32 players on each team, which means that everyone dies three times and then you lose. 
I also imagine that makes for some very short matches. But again, that is just the tip of the iceberg as far as the issues with that game, as, as I have been hearing them. And uh, all I can say is, uh, saw this one coming. I don't know what people expected past a certain point. I mean, honestly, I would have expected them to just release the same game, but with servers that function. Like, that's the bare minimum, right? No, you can go lower. You, apparently, the, the bare minimum is lower than we could possibly imagine. So how about the collapse also, of the entire games industry? <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, I was about to say something relevant to this, is that we're playing as Riho in this game, but Riho was in Onichambara Origin as well, as a weapon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one of the swords was just a body pillow of her, and when you attacked with it, she would talk. Talk is a, is a, 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 a fine choice of word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll go with talk. Devious vacuum saying, I mean, "Oh, so this is her? Yeah, this is this is Rio Futaba, star of yeah. so many of these simple 2000 series games." Uh, I, I wish we could have like figured out, not figured out, I, but have had her already unlocked for that MMA game we were playing last time, where yeah. it's just all of these MMA dudes and inexplicably Rio, but well, locked. I mean, she she might have the most combat, but I mean, she's clearly killed the most people. Uh, between her, like, crushing cities when she's the 50-foot woman and Demolition Girl, and and between this, where she's going to town with the sword, I'd hate to see her in the ring. I'd, I'd hate to face this lady in hand-to-hand -hand oh, combat. She, must, she was in uh, one of those other, like, fighting games. She was in a, at least a couple of those fighting games, right? We had the, the, uh, the beach one. Uh, had, I, can, uh, I can look at my list of games here. It wasn't Boxing Champions. Hard Beat... Heartbeat Something. Boxing, also known as Love Upper. There. Yeah. They're f uh, Fighting Angels? Was that one of the games? That is another game that we played. I think she was in that. Generally, if there's a video game that has a versus component with two characters and there's some ladies in there, I can generally go like, yeah, I think Rio was in that. It's a safe assumption. It's a safe bet. This game is not as, uh, this game's a little more plotting than Origin was. Origin was paced a little better, I no, think. No, you don't say. <laughs> you know, I think the D3 Ooh. publisher, in, in their mission to do generic genre games, I think part of their value proposition or the way they sought to get playability out of their games to increase the amount of time that people spend with them was to just make the combat like deliberately like everything takes multiple. I mean, I guess this is also just the genre at a certain point, the stylish action, as I've heard it called. I just call these 3D beat em ups. Uh <laughs> oh, oh, I'm about to go berserk. But oh, it doesn't help that I'm picking up the red orbs, which raise that meter. I mean, I think the worst example of them just making the combat absolutely fucking plotting was that 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 uh, that Exorcist game in in the mall where you're rescuing people from that mall or Sky whatever that was. Yes, uh, yes. I, re I don't remember the name of that game, but I remember that game. It was Zombie something. Zombie Attack: The Kyonshi Panic. Yeah, yeah that was a Tamsoft that game. Right. That that was from Tamsoft. Ooh, a pill. Tiger Chimera agrees with me, says it's 100% a 3D beat-em-up. I don't care what other genre names people have come up with. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for simplifying genre classification or streamlining or finding ways to be like, you know, materially, what's the difference between a racing game and a driving game? Uh, or, you know, driving should be the primary genre. You can say, like, genre slash... Uh, you can say driving, it is a racing game. Racing is a subgenre. Driving is the genre. But those umbrella genres are, are so important. And I'm, a, sty I'm all, a stylish action I, game is a evolution, is a subgenre of the beat-em-up. I'm all for, like, making more... Car car Compartmentalization. More categorization. Compartmentalization, yeah. yeah. And, like, but I don't generally call them like stylish action games i would say like a character action game 
Yeah, that's the way Ray I heard it for a while. Oh. Okay, I mean. Instead of I a mean, devil on your mode. shoulder, you got it on your head. Oh, that's the alien. That's the alien from, uh, what is it? Uh, Demolition Girl. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's a callback. You're gonna lose, you're gonna drain all your health. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die because, uh, it just drains health automatically. You have a goddess statue, don't you? Yeah, but I have one. <laughs> well, now would be the time to use it, wouldn't it? Yeah, let me, I'm gonna wait until I get low on health. Real low on health. Okay. Use a cure gem. And then I'll use a goddess statue. All better. All cleaned yep, up. We're fine. Uh, you rub the statue over yourself. It's made of a sponge-like material. It got all that blood off you. Battletank09 says, Thinking about a museum arcade shooter game now where it turns out the aliens were causing mysterious disappearances. Are, are you trying oh, to like oh, remember yeah, what the name of the game is? Ha haunted Museum? I, was that an aliens game? No, I don't think that was aliens. I think that was just like, you know, mummies coming to life in the exhibit in which they exist in. And like, you know, different I think there were aliens for different levels. That, I think there were aliens involved in that one. I'm pretty sure. Maybe you're right. We'll do another Like Gun Extravaganza stream one yeah. of these days. Because those games are up and running on Techno Parrots. I'm pretty sure they are right about the aliens, if I remember correctly. Boy, howdy, this seems this fucking is... boring. Yeah, do you want to move on? Uh... This is the game. <laughs> Like, do you, th do you think that nothing is going to happen, like, beyond this? Can you, like, run ahead? Can you try to just, like, yeah, do you think you'll be hit by some it. sort of invisible wall? You wish to proceed, yeah. I'd say only fight when strictly necessary and see if we can get to, like, some sort of cutscene or whatever the Oni Chambara, Oni Champuru equivalent of a cutscene would be. Uh, that that would be nothing. <laughs> Great. But there's a possibility I would find like a boss enemy, maybe. Cool statue. Back that up. Anything here? This is just one giant aspirator. Well, I'm trapped here now. Yeah, you'd have to kill the enemies nearby. Yeah, you know, we can probably... We, we've we seen... We've also literally played this game before. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this one. We're gonna we're gonna say that's been Zombie Hunters 1. Okay. Zoom out, or not zoom out, fade out on that. Close out of that. Hey, 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 Sharky. Yeah. Zombie Hunters 2. For real this Zombie time. Zombie The correct cover this time for the correct game. Uh, and uh, again, developed by Tamsoft, published by Essential Games. And the Japanese title is Simple 2000 Series Volume 101. The Oni Chan Pon, The Oni Chan 2, Tokubetsu Hen, also known as The Sister Remix, The Sister 2 Special Edition, if you want to try and translate that. And I, I see Riho prominently on the cover. I see the two girls from Dragon Sisters as well on here. So this just seems like everyone's okay, showing yes. up. The whole, so, the whole uh, gang's me, invited. Let me, let me pull up my note here on this. Uh, so yes, same deal. It's Oni Chambara 2, but updated. And it has Riho, Makoto, as well as Kiku and Hana from Dragon Sisters. All right, very good. So we didn't get... Or Europe didn't get... Zombie Hunters 2, just a plain... Or this is the Zombie Hunters 2 that we got. So there was an Oni Chambara 2, Oni Champuru 2, and then there was this deluxe special edition of it with these additional characters in it. And for the purposes of bringing it to Europe, they said, skip the first one, skip the original version of the game, go directly to this deluxe edition with Those all this additional content. are some outfits. Yeah, and I'm assuming that's Makoto on the on the left there left, of her sister. Yeah. Left, yeah. No options this time, I think. Wait. Oh, I can't. Well, of course, can't, can't do it to you because they don't have the same game. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even going to, like, humor me. Oh, 
Okay, here's the options. Yep, okay. Don't know why I expected anything different. Oh, there's a practice mode now. Any cool quest names that we didn't Sassy have last girl, time? Sassy Girl, Rouge, cool. Master Cool, Zombie Piercer. Mostly the same, but I think Master of Cool is... Oh, they actually tell you straight up what the conditions are this time. Well, that's nice of them to do. Yeah, I also did not mention cool combos when I was describing stuff earlier. So, we have Reiko, Riho, Reiko, Riho, okay. Can't select any other costumes. Can you select any other characters? Just these two right now. Have to unlock the rest. Oh, well, play as Riho. Yeah, yeah, we already saw Riho. Reiko looks cool. The return of the zombies. Doesn't seem like there's going to be any voice Sion. acting here. Nope. My name is Aya. Right. I am the scion of a line of sword-wielding assassins going back hundreds of years. And now, all that's left of the line are me and my sister. Wait, so, wait, hold on. Are, are we not playing as Aya? Is Reiko Aya in disguise? Or who, who the fuck is Reiko? Uh, I don't remember. So we can't play as Aya from the start in this game where the first thing you see is my name is Aya. 49 days ago at Maybe the end she's... of a violent battle I somehow managed to carry my sister out of the hideous temple. My sword had barely missed her vital organs as if the love for my sister had held me back but her wounds were deep and she had lost a lot of blood. She was absolutely covered in it. She almost went to berserk mode but I had a statue on me. I took Saki to a hospital on my own and my sister somehow managed to escape death but she remained asleep. There's functional hospitals in this world still. Nothing stops the hospital staff. Oh, the hospital from like zombie hospital. Uh, that's or, it. Yeah, that's how it all whatever. ties together. All these games are the same universe. Like a doll, Saki continued to sleep in silence. Then one day the hospital contacted me and told me Saki's condition had rapidly changed. All but of a her sudden. insurance was, uh, did not cover it. And now I'm $30,000 in the hole. So I'm going to try to make some quick cash. She started getting a high fever they couldn't explain and was talking deliriously as if being... To sk we can skip this. God knows how much longer that's going to go on for. Cute little load animation Oh, I hit square to do that. Oh, I that's even square. cuter. That's even more fun. Turn the zombies. Wow, this sure looks familiar. Hey, guess yeah, guess what? <laughs> this, I think this game is the same maps. This lady has a gun on her hip. Can you use it? Uh, yeah. Let me let me try buttons. Not that button. Not that button. That's my kick as it was. Uh, that's clean sword as always. Yep, square is. Square is a shotgun. Bloodborne, eat your heart out. So my spur button uh, doesn't drain health anymore. Video Game King has a theory, a game theory, if you will. Ahem. I've had to guess Rio and Reiko are digital actresses playing the roles of Aya and Saki. It would certainly fit with what D3 was doing with Riho in particular across all these games, especially the one where Rio, Rio makes pain gestures in her bedroom. Oh, and the one where you take voyeuristic photos of her. Does that parse? Does that make sense to you? Does that check out? Uh, you know what? It That sure is a theory. This music is at maybe least a little like, more upbeat, is a little more up-tempo. Like, like maybe it's like the uh, the Mario thing where Miyamoto just considers them all to be stage actors for every game. So there's no plot that actually matters in Mario. <laughs> These vultures Miyamoto's are actually crows. very uh, nihilistic. Oh, is he, is is he turns now? Out. Yeah. It's like, yeah, they're all actors on a stage. None of this matters. You know that famous quote? Who cares? Uh, 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 a rushed game is bad forever. A uh, delayed game is bad forever. All games are bad. Nothing matters. Release me from this mortal coil. Shigeru Miyamoto.
I guess you, if Miyamoto was to go full nihilist, he'd be like, "Yes, Super Mario is is the is the ideal man, is the Superman as I have as I have foreseen it." <laughs> yeah, you know when he was shown Goldeneye 007, he wanted to add a thing where at the end of the game you would go to the hospital, see all the people you shot, and then pull the plug on them. <laughs> That Miyamoto, he's he's a genius. He's a creative genius. <laughs>I still think one of my favorite legitimate quotes from a uh, Nintendo figurehead is Gunpei Yokoi. Uh, we did our article on the Virtual Boy a while back. Badgamehallfame.com slash virtual-boy. And I was citing from Gunpei Yokoi's autobiography. And, you know, some of the last chapters deal with the development of the Virtual Boy, which he obviously had a big hand in. We have the full story of the development of the Virtual Boy in that article. Real comprehensive stuff, but there, there's a quote. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna paraphrase here, but it was in response to the Japanese news and American news saying that uh, the Virtual Boy was a risk for kids to play because you're putting these LEDs directly in your eyes that can't be good for them. Uh, stay away from this console. And so Gunpei Yokoi is like talking about his autobiography, the, the attempts to like, you know, sort of combat that or to mitigate the effects of that. And what he wanted to do was he wanted to do a sort of campaign, an awareness campaign. And his, the thing that he was going to posit was that far from being bad for your eyes, it's good for them, actually. It'll help you develop your vision. It'll give you better vision if you play the Virtual Boy. <laughs> Which is just, look, I know Gunpei Yokoi is kind of like this, this infallible figure in Nintendo history. But come on, come on, come on, come, come on, Gunpei. Come on, it, it's... <laughs> There's something weird going on with the speed of which at which I'm not able to actually attack this thing. Like, it seems to slow down a little bit, which makes doing cool attacks harder. Uh. Huh? 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 Can you interact with it rather than just attacking it? What could I have possibly... Oh, no, that was the D-pad. I pressed the D-pad by uh -huh. accident. Grand Tag saying that Gunpei, Yopei, uh, Gunpei was going to release virtual cigarettes next. <laughs> you know, far from being bad for your lungs, it's actually good for them. Kids should really smoke these cigarettes up. <laughs> yeah, aren't aren't virtual cigarettes just vapes? Red. I don't think he can do anything with this fucking thing. I, I don't... Yeah, it's, it's red, but... I will say, though, uh, this feels better than the previous it's one. It's a little snappier. I like, the addition, I like the addition of the gun. Yeah, it is snappier. I, uh... Less enemies I, per encounter. And they seem to go the down a little go quicker. go down faster. I can see that there is still a berserk uh, function in this game, but I don't have a berserk meter on this character. That's because she's really in, in check. She really has control over her emotions. I, I also see that it, there's an item here that says... Uh, oh, where is it? Revives incapacitated characters. So. Okay, so Onishambara Origin had a thing where you could play as two characters at once. I don't know if this game is going to have that, or if when they say that they just mean like the character you are playing as in this one character game. I didn't see it anything like, for know, like a multiplayer, for like a co-op, for, for picking up. No. Uh, I think it's just like if you die and you happen to have that item on you, it'll automatically pick you up. That, uh, would, that would be my what I was getting at. What I was getting at, though, was that Onishambara Origin, I don't know if you remember, but because you weren't there for that episode, but you actually had two characters at once that you could switch to on the fly. Yes. So that's why I was wondering, do they mean like if one of those two goes down, then you can use that item to revive them? Potentially. Don't know. We will probably not find out. <laughs> probably not. Sarah the Kroksune, uh, I, I believe, said, what the heck is this Oni Chambara? And someone told them that it is, in fact, an, uh, an Oni Chambara game. Or Oni Champuru, you know. Yeah, so it was the you previous know, game I we just played, so. What I miss from uh, Origin... Here, here's my takeaway right now. To start with, um, Origin Bar Origin is fun. I recommend that game. 
Maybe like on a sale price because it is very expensive full price, but it is fun. Uh, but something I miss from that game is the ability to see the uh, timing for getting cool attacks. Because if you time your sword slashes exactly on the attack, you'll get more damage out of it. Another and D3. It's honestly, go ahead. Finish your thought. Oh, I was saying for for me, it's hard to tell when that is, but Origin has a uh, system where there's just a bar on the bottom of the screen that says, "Hey, here's the timing for it." Okay, so what I was gonna say is that D3 Publisher definitely was really lousy about that shit for a long time, especially during this PS2 era, as far as having these these things that make your attacks more stylish, that give you more points. That and you know, and and points are what you use to unlock stuff in these games a lot of the time, like in terms of new weapons or characters or what have you. A lot of them have sort of systems like that. And a game that comes to mind that we don't get to cover in this series, but uh, which is actually English translated uh, by Fan Patch, is the Made in the Machine Gun. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And that game has the world's most inscrutable system for uh, increasing what they call a Mado style meter or a Mado style score, where you have to be doing these like, you know, taunts or these bows, these like poses between every attack. You have to have this exact timing that the game doesn't indicate to you in any capacity it was like, between parries and like timing attacks. It's a game that has like a hundred systems going on and fronts fucking none of them to you. And I feel like that's another deliberate thing. I feel like that's a, a publisher mandate on D3's part, which is to say, have hidden depth to your games and enforce players to bang their heads against it because that will also increase the play time. That'll increase the perceived value if they have to figure oh. out the, these systems that they can like flag that they exist, but if they have to figure out on their own how to actually engage with them, that, that seems to be a very of... consistent thread. That is endemic of a lot of character action games or the maybe subgenre of the subgenre that you would call stylish action, where it's like there are just mechanics that you don't really know about and they don't, they're not really forthcoming with that information, but you really need to figure it out if you want to play a top level like Bayonetta and, uh, yeah, uh, Metal Gear Rising. Devil May Cry, I've been playing uh, No More Heroes 3 lately, and there's some mechanics there where I feel like, oh, it's not really telling me everything I would really want to know about this. You know, a part where of that is, is also beyond just the stylish, uh, beyond stylish action, beyond character action, <laughs> it is also like just a part of Japanese game design. It is just a, a long running thing where part of the, the fun of games or part of the thing that the audiences seem to really engage with is that collaborative process of figuring out mechanics, figuring out things that are just not explained. And, you know, I mentioned this in the name of this game. A all Tower of Duraga. Yeah, right. thank you for, for preempting me on that. Like the single most important game in terms of like influencing design for decades, possibly centuries to come, Tower of Duraga, uh, which defined the, the idea of, of, of hidden mechanics, of, of crowd solving, that sort of stuff. Or, or even just forcing a player, like an independent player, to figure it out on their own. But really, the, the goal there was to encourage, like, kids at the schoolyard to share what they figured out of a game, for players in the arcade to put post-it notes on the cabinets, and for games like this, by the time we're in this PS2 era, you know, primitive meshes boards, uh, image board posting, maybe. Or, or like, you know, 2chan type things where players are congregating online to maybe share what they figured out to, to show what insights they've gleaned from these games. So that's absolutely like some contributing factor here. It's definitely concomitant. I, I still hold to my previous theory that it is a value proposition thing where, where it's designed to extend oh. playability. Oh, wait. I just... I just realized something. Who? Let me get someone. Oh, okay, I can't really follow it up, I think. I can follow up with that, but I do have a launcher. And I think that... Okay, it's not not quite as uh, fully fleshed out as maybe Devil May Cry is with it, but I do have... I feel like this is more options than I was afforded in the first game. This is definitely an improvement. 
which you would hope with a sequel. Sure. Yeah. No. Absolutely. But this one started so similar <laughs> to the other one that I was not sure if it would. Yeah. When we started in that, that cemetery, I was sweating a little bit. But yeah. this has been materially different in terms. Of, I mean, not in terms of gameplay. The gameplay is the, you know, it's iterated on, but you know, it's still the gameplay fighting is definitely zombies. different. Like, I feel like that that whole move is new. That's new. Uh, it the time to kill is so much less. This is new. Bonk. The soundtrack the is length, incredible. The, the length of a level, kind of the same. Wait, turn around. Okay, no, this is a different shrine. city street. I, well, yeah, I was going to yeah. see if it was the same oh, fucking no, I, city streets as... I, no, I, I knew this was a different area. Like, we didn't have that overpass thing from earlier. But if it just connected to the area from the previous game at a certain point. It was like, we threw in this to throw people off the scent to make it look like this is a new area. But actually... Man, I hope, like, the rest of the game... I'm not going to play the rest of this game, but... I would hope the rest of this game would, like, let you play as a character that doesn't have to interact with the Berserk system, because, like I said, man, I hate that system in these original games. I mean, you're not engaging with it here, are you? There's no Berserk meter here. No, not yet, but there's definitely, like I said... I think those items, items exist say... for the other characters. I think those. I think this is because the weird selection of characters you have at the top of this, you happen to pick this character. Maybe Ryo has that system in place, but I would think that certain characters have different mechanics. Do you think the Dragon Sisters could, are going to have a Berserk system? It, it could be a thing where um, in this game, they don't have it active immediately. Like Maybe like a story beat happens, and then they're like, oh, now the Berserk thing is active. I don't think there's story beats in this. <laughs> it is my guess. I know. I'm saying theoretically it could happen. I would doubt it, but... Uh... The thing is, they're still dropping red orbs, which is what builds up the Berserk meter. I, I think they it's just, just do anything for they me. were too lazy to take it out or didn't think to remove it from the drop table, even if it doesn't seem to affect this character at all. Like, I could see it not affecting this character because I'm so covered in, like, clothing. Like, maybe that was Aya's problem, is that she goes around wearing a cavalry bikini. Yeah, he's got to wear a skin tight suit to keep the blood off, yeah. And a helmet. Do you think we've seen everything we're going to see from this game, by the way? Yeah, I think... Let me just run ahead and see if I can get to, like, a boss or something. Or if I get closed off in an area, then... Oh, yeah, I, we would have been here for fucking ever <laughs> if I tried to go through all this. This see door, no. Find some sort of exit, maybe. Yep, that looks like it would exit. be here. Yep. There you go. I was, I was waiting for the for you to start attacking that that guy in the corner. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, look at that lady, though. Oh no, that, that is you. I thought that was an enemy for a second me. from afar. Yeah. I, I think that's gonna do it for zombie hunters too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I think so. Pull the lever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull the fade on that. And uh, yeah. Now, I, I will be. Back in a second, if you want to go ahead and introduce the next game. Uh, no, we'll take a quick Fu intermission, because I also want to run to oh, the bathroom. Sure. So how about we All come right. back in just, like, like will two, three minutes be enough for you? Well, that's more than enough. All right. We will reconvene in two or three minutes. But hey, stick around for the next one. The next one, we have been building up to this for the past six months, I promise you. Yes. So please stay tuned for a big reveal.
we're back. All right, Sharky. You hinted that we've been building up to this one for a while. For yep. six months nearly. This had always been planned from the start to be the game that is the culmination of the Euro trip. And uh, everyone's on the edge of their seats. The final game as part of this Euro trip is All Star Fighters! Developed by Digital Zero, published by Essential Games. And let's go ahead and look at that Japanese cover. Where the Japanese title is, Simple 2000 Series Volume 91, The All-Star Kakato, or Kakuto, also known as the All-Star Fighting Festival. This is the Super Smash Brothers of Simple 2000. Yes, this is the game in which all of your favorite Simple Series characters uh, will appear, will, will fight, will take up arms against one another. And it's a fighting game. And of course we're going to play this against one another. Sort of impromptu fight night, if you will. Except we're not going to keep score or whatever. Right. <laughs> now, word of warning. The emulation on this one little spotty. I think there's some visual effects that don't fully work in this within PCSX2. I don't know if switching to software rendering will help with that or not. Uh, uh, there's... I, I got it to work at some point, but I definitely checked the wiki on how to make it work. I'm assuming you did that. I, I may have neglected to do that. Hey, want to take a quick peek? Yeah. I was doing a quick oh, are we look. on the right uh, controller? It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> no, I, I said the right controllers. We are, in fact, on okay. the right controllers. Uh, game fixes tab. Okay, so there is a fix. Let me go ahead and enable that before we get into the game. Just to give this game the best chance to look it, its best, you know? All right, so that's uh, config, emulation settings, game fixes. Wait, no, that's not the right... I don't remember where game fixes is. I think these settings refer to an older version of. Yeah, I think modern versions of uh, PCSX2 will automatically apply correct game fixes. We'll know if it looks if it looks wrong. We'll know. Let's not let the demo give too much away. Yeah. All right. Good range of stuff here. Go to options first and foremost. Infinity. Oh, nice. Uh, never. Uh, what, what's the what's the wrestling chant? Fight forever. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, clap, clap. A thousand go years to, later. <laughs> go to controller settings. Okay, good. We should know these. Light, medium, heavy, additional attack. Super impact Super R1. Impact. Now, I don't know all the mechanics. I have played this game a bit. I don't know all the mechanics of it. I don't have access to a manual. Uh... I know some of the moves. In fact, we pulled up a move list. Yeah. But I do not... There's like a parry mechanic, and there's a whole bunch of stuff you can spend meter on, but I don't really know what it is. Yeah, also, I don't think I wanna, we're gonna... I, I want to say something, by the way. Please. About the uh, moves. So, you know how in like a fighting game you can go to practice mode, and you can like pull up a move list, and like just see what you have available to you? Yeah, let's go um, see that. Yeah. Oh, we can take a look at our characters here, too. Yep, okay, that's so the issue. That is that's the... the issue. Let, let me go through these settings. You, you explain what you're okay. going to explain while I see if I can find the the uh, the thing. Sure. So, if you go into practice mode and you look for your, uh, you know, your move list under the options and stuff, you won't find it. You have to unlock your character's move list on a character-by-character -character basis by beating the game with them. Wow, that only sounds what... fucking stupid. Yeah, only once you beat the game with a character are you allowed to know what their move set is. I have never seen a game do that before, and I do not know what any potential explanation for that could be. Right, software rendering doesn't, on its own doesn't fix it. I need to find 
V U X G Kick Hack. I don't know what that is. I don't know what menu they're referring to here. Do you, but I, do you want me to look it up on my thing too? See if yes, split our please. efforts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you, how about you look it up and I'll go into practice mode for a bit. I'll, I will. Sure. Let's, let's not take a look look at the list of characters until we have. Uh, I'll play as Earth Defense Force guy for now. I'm looking for. I guess I'm gonna beat up this little girl in the Yakuza's den. V U X G something hack. hack. Yeah. Okay. Um, Round one. Fight. All right. Okay. Try this. I'm ready. Okay. Go to uh, advanced options. Settings, where, rather. Where is that? Go to settings. All right. You see settings. Um, you might have to enable advanced. I, I, I'd be surprised if I didn't have advanced uh, enabled just by default. If anyone can help us, if anyone knows can can yes. can walk us through PCSX2. Okay, go to tools in your menu bar and look for show advanced settings. See if that's there. Yes. There you go. Then go to some of the game properties, advanced. And then scroll down, you'll see Enable Game Fixes. Enable Game Fixes. And then try and restart the game and see if that just... Oh, or you can go there. Now. <laughs> yeah. There it is! And there even a nice cell okay. shading effect that that enables there. Or you can see some outlines around the characters. Okay, that's, that's awesome. I'm glad that works. All right. Uh... We don't need to do much more of the practice. You you explain okay. what the gimmick was as far as the move stuff. We're just gonna go into some fights for for a while here. We're gonna let, let's go through every character. We we have sure. an hour, give or take. Seeing as this this is the last game, we have been building up to yeah. it. I mean, we also have to do some ranking at the end of it, but uh, yes, takes a little while for any character to load in. Yeah, so let, let, let's go through all the characters first. Yeah. Uh, so Ryo Futaba, obviously the poster girl for this this whole sorted series of simple games. Uh, Shin Fuyu, who I believe is the protagonist of that zombie in attack. the mall game. Yep. Yeah, the mall and game. Then, when we played that game, and I said, "Hey, I recognize this character from something I played." I was this would be the this. game. Yeah. Uh, Princess Cheval. I don't have any recollection of this girl, but she's clearly from a simple Maybe. series game. Maybe one of those Dynasty Warrior type games Possibly. that we played. Named Ethgar. Uh, yeah, I feel like no I remember way. this fucking guy. I feel like if we had seen him no in any clue. of the games that got localized for Europe, I would remember this guy. Earth Defense Force. The entire Earth Defense Force is encapsulated yes. by this one dude with a pistol. Uh, from left to right on this row, Reiko Mizuzaki, who I believe was in one of the heartbeat boxing, but she seems like she probably was like yeah. She might be like a doctor sort with that clipboard on hand. If you remember, we played as Reiko in the previous game, except she was fully dressed. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Ginny! Who appears to be like, are they sisters, maybe? I or, feel like we saw Ginny in something, but I can't remember. Probably Heartbeat Boxing or, you know, the, the Beach Boxing one, whichever one of those games. Makoto Futaba. Uh, Reiko's who's sister? Reiko's little sister. No, Riho. Oh, Riho, that's right. Damdo, uh, who again, I feel like I would remember. Maybe they're in one of like this, the martial arts games, and maybe they just kind of blended in with the rest of that cast. Those Could have being also very been generic characters. Different. Could have also been called something different in one of those other games. Death Doll Kakashi, who is the protagonist of Splattermaster, which was a sort of splatterhousey type beat em up thing, which was pretty neat. Kyo Asuka, who I believe was the protagonist of Yakuza Fury. Yep. Is that correct? That's correct. Aya, the 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 Oni Champuru herself, the bikini Ara. zombie. Er, well, yeah. And Mayuki, who no clue. Oh, maybe she's is she maybe one of the the Link Link girls from the biking game? Maybe she 
she almost looks like Saki a little bit, like an older Saki, but probably a different character. And do you think oh, uh, TV Tropes has a no? Oh, Video Game King says TV Tropes is a list of where each character comes from. Ooh, that's handy. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Aya and Reiko are from Onichan Bar, EDF. We know. Damdo is from uh, the Is Isu Kata uh, Kakatuogi. Um, Princess Cheval is from an RPG game. Uh, Hajimete no RPG. Uh, named Named Ithgar is from Tokusatsu Henshin Hero, which we definitely did not see. Yeah. Uh, Spider Action for a Death Doll. Uh, the Kyonshi Panic is Shin Fuye, which is Zombie Panic. Okay, like, uh, I, people can look up the list, I think. We don't need to go through them yeah. all, all one by one. I, have, I literally have three more. <laughs> you know, Kajikakin is Shinin, uh, Ninkyo is uh, Kyo, and uh, Mayuki is Kensuchito Yankee Bancho. So, okay. I, I was trying but to spare you from having to try to pronounce more of these Japanese only game names. But the point nah, is, the, throw German at me next. The key thing here is that half these characters in this All Star Fighters game are characters that the European audience would have no idea who the fuck these characters are because they did not appear in games that were localized for that market. But uh, thirteen characters is still a amount of characters for a game of this sort. Uh, but let's not put it off any longer. Let's All do right. some fighting. Uh, who do I want to play as first? I kind of like Death Doll Kakashi. All right. Let me what see. do these different I colors will... look like? Yup, got away from the load. I'll go with Kyo. Now look, look at the different colors a little bit, but I do want to go with the default for sure. I'm going with this desaturated version. Oh, that's a that's a JoJo reference right there. Oh yeah, that's sure. uh, the dude from Part Four, the the villain, Akira. Yeah, but well, I like the original look. First time I saw Kiyosuka, I. <laughs> uh, we'll do the stages in order. We'll do beach. Okay. We're loading. Okay. I I think I picked a mostly charged character. Uh, my character it's seems to not be a great idea. half circles, quarter circles, a whole mix of stuff. Oh, this is my crouch attack. Look. You wouldn't beat up a child. You wouldn't beat up a headless child, would you? you Yakuza I'm a Yakuza. I'll fuck it. <laughs> All right, let's try this. How'd that work out for you? That uh, didn't work out. I was trying to do <laughs> double quarter circle in... Oh, I was pressing the wrong button, maybe. Let's try a super move at some point. Is... Okay, okay. That, that's a weird input. I'm trying every button with this. Oh, you know what it is? R1 works for it, right? R1? No, that's a different thing. No, oh, yeah, sure enough. I just I burned through all my bars by, by tapping the R1 yeah. button. I want to say that's some sort of parry, but I'm not positive. Okay, wait. I want to. What is my special? There. That would probably help you. if you were close. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Oh. <laughs> He's already dead. Stop it. I mean, he was dead to begin with. Uh, I Am Headful asks, is the scenery representing a specific game? I think it's just a generic beach. I'm on the beach beach. I, just, I mean, some of these levels are definitely of specific games. Sure. So I'm sure that beach is supposed to be like some game of theirs. I'll pick Mayuki. I'll go with EDF. What's this color? Have uh, the EDF worn those colors and 
Wait, what? Huh. There we go. Yeah, that one. Let's go to the Amazon. We'll battle in the Amazon warehouses. Well, that animation sure took its time. Yeah. For my girl. <laughs> she got a head start on it before your character even started animating, and she's still... Uh, talk about an ice queen, huh? Eh? And Yo-Yo, so she's like a Sukuban Deca yeah. type. Yeah. I saw her, one of the words in her game was Boncho, so yeah. Yeah. Ow. I would say this game doesn't feel bad necessarily to play. It's a little clunky, but it doesn't feel that bad. But uh, playing as the AI is torturous. I would love to get one of these supers to work. Is it supposed to be a half circle forward? And then what is H? What does H refer to here? Heavy. Heavy. Which is your circle. Nope. Either the notation is completely wrong is. on the site, or... No, it's work working for me. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll even let you hit me with it. One sec. I have to translate it to... Okay. One sec. Yeah, so how's that fucking working out for you? See, the thing is, it worked with the other character. <laughs> See, the other moves are correct, though, so... Yeah, but these super moves, absolutely. You're supposed to have a minimum of four bars. I, I have what appears to be seven. I, I definitely had more when I was... Uh, I had it maxed out when I was playing as uh, Death Doll, too, and just absolutely nothing happening. I know the R1 button is supposed to be a super move button or like super in itself, but all it does is like that little shield thing for a frame. I don't know why this move isn't coming out. Yeah, I, I think this guy, this this uh, wiki page is probably copied and pasted shit, and just no one has bothered to interrogate it. Oh. Ran out of time. Give me like I I can I can pull up like actually the images. Secure connection failed, what? What? I'll take Reiko. Let's see what her... She has three okay. super moves, according to this. And the inputs have A, L, H, A, A, up. There's not an yeah, A button but in this fucking game. A, no, A is X. That was on the, the thing. Oh. Uh, yeah, what's her... Is her first special, like, down forward, down forward, heavy? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is here. I'm looking at literally the screenshots of the... Uh, that you unlock. You know, the move list. What if you needed to beat the game as a character to unlock the super move in some case? I know you did no, one that, once. Yeah. So, so do these I, are correct. Yeah. I want Maybe Aya to fight her sister. I want you to be Aya in one round, then I'll okay. be her little sister at the same time. So pick someone else for this one if you don't mind. We should we? It might be... I have an idea what it might be. It might be, like, not the notation, like, uh... Whoops. Hold on, sorry, I gotta do something real quick. Just to make sure, because my left stick isn't doing anything. Did, were analog controls doing anything for you in this? I'm not using analog. I was trying to go back and forth between them because I figured, like, you know, maybe I'm doing the wrong things on the D-pad. Maybe my D-pad inputs just it's, aren't there. It's but, possible that it's not, it's more of like a Mortal Kombat thing than it is a, like, a smooth motion. Like, it would be down, back, down, forward instead of quarter circle back, half circle forward. Maybe. Kind of situation. All I know is that the left analog stick is working, but this game does not let you use it. We're not allowed to use the analog stick. D-pad only. Which, you know, usually in most cases I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to play with the D-pad anyway. But to take that option away from players, fuck you, D3. 
School trap. Time for science. Like all the, the basics, all the normal. The name of this, this move is shut up. Heal attack. How much health of whatever do I have? Okay. So let me, okay, let me try it very measured. No. Why is- I got one. Oh, you got one. And I didn't get to use it. That was supposed to be called the U flunk. Yeah, I don't know why the super is in cut me out. Also, this game feels like it's moving like a million miles per hour. All these animations are so fucking fast. But except like the walking animation, I can look at the walking animation, I can tell like that's like moving at a normal rate, right? Yeah. But then like all the attack animations feel like they're like quadruple speed. Don't know what that's doing to you. I don't think it's hurting you. <laughs> now my super isn't working. The same input I did before is no longer. There is what something is fucky with the way this game handles its inputs or, or some untold yeah, mechanic about the super moves. Like you can only use them once, or if you do some other move, maybe it takes away your ability to do it. I don't remember having this issue with it before, which is weird. I wonder if I can like cap the frame rate or something. Let's try enable speed limiter. No, no, that doesn't change anything. The animations still play out at the same speed. Wow. This game sucks. I, I guess, I'm guess i going to have to go with normals then. Wow, we, we built up to this over the course of six months, and this game is just fucking rotten to the core with the, the inability to do just, like, the basics of the genre. I don't oh, know how that one worked this time. I'm actually, I'm actually fine with this game in general. I, it's weird because I've played this game a lot and I don't remember having issues with the supers like that. All right, I'll play Rio. You or, or no, okay. you play Rio. I think you've earned it. I'll be okay. Makoto. I know we were doing this in order. But I think... Whoa, she found fast. I think for this, it would... Uh, huh. Some interesting Green colors. Hair? I'll go with the... Here. Sure. I would say for this one, go to Burnt Down City. Okay. Super Makoto Special, Magna Makoto Special. We'll see if either of those work. This move is called Kick Ass. This is the Demolition Girl stage. Oh, yep, sure enough. Bring it all full circle. Wow, you're really locking me into these combos. I use the word combo very generously. I, I don't know That's what this ability move. is. It's called This Is For Real. I'll kick you out. So she's a kick fighter. I can appreciate that as a, as a Chun Li player in Street Fighter Two and the like. Ow. So Rio also has a unlockable super move that you cannot do unless you beat time attack mode in under seven minutes and then you unlock a new super move for one character huh that's certainly uh, that move a is... way to do it yeah that move is to turn her into a giant ah that parses i i cannot get like out of whatever it is you're doing i 
I cannot get my super move out. Oh, whoa, what else is new? I got yours. <laughs> oh, is that a raging demon? I think it might be. Yeah, you know what? Hit me with it. All right, now show your cool back tattoo. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> I don't mind losing to that move. Yeah. I, I mean, I do like this game. I don't. I mean, again, against the AI, fuck this game. But is there anyone we haven't we've, we haven't seen a couple of these other characters yeah no we're, we're going through them still and there's 13 so it's gonna be an, an odd number yeah you want to be named the Cathar? sure and i'll be shin fuyu let me pull up his moves oh we are i already did shin fuyu oh well you, you know what odd whatever yeah no no i want to well, let's get through more characters princess cheval i'll okay. do princess cheval oh that's worse well, okay, he so gotta go with it, that then. one. I'm a shark. Oh, wait. It exited out for some reason. Okay, I'll go with the shark. We'll do the highway truck. Good jiggle physics on your little ears, your little antennae, or your eyes, I guess, if you're a shark. All right. Wand of fire, breeze of spirits, impulse wave. I got some moves. Oh. <laughs> I got the floaty jump. I got range. I mean, I, I also have range, but it's in the wrong direction. Oh, my character is slow. My character is the worst frame data. I'm just trying to get my special out at this point. I mean, the worst frames. It's not da frame data. Yeah, that parses. My character also has, like, fu the fucking worst move names. <laughs> Wetty Pheromone, Ugh. Slimy Touch, Sexy Touch, sling Slinging Fantasy, and Pheromone Paradise. I can't tell if my character is good or your character just sucks that bad. Oh, my character fucking sucks. I can tell you that much. Yep. <laughs> can absolutely, absolutely cannot get the super out. It's supposed to be just a half circle. Good. <laughs> wow, it's a shame that one didn't connect. I'll let it happen. Is that a dive kick? Is that what we're calling a dive kick now? <laughs> Alright, he won that one by a timer by a timer yeah. scam there, so. All right, I, got, I just got to give up on these super moves. I just got to accept that the inputs in this game are beyond fucked. Or there's some other mechanic that isn't explained that prevents you from using them. Ex ex except in like very particular contexts or situations. I think it might be like an extremely deliberate move. That is my guess. Well played. Have I won a single one of these? Uh, not yet. All right, who have we not played with? We haven't Ginny? played as Ginny. We haven't played as Dendo. I don't think we've played as Aya either. No, I'll pick Ginny because I like a redhead. 
Let me see. Uh, try bend node. Yeah. Yeah, the the, the uh, last pals where they try to change like when whenever they do skin tone, it's a uh <laughs> my super move is reached a verdict. We're in the card game dimension. I also have this little cat, so I guess this is like an assist character, they would call this. P possibly like a puppet. I, I can't tell. Uh. Ah, there we go. Teleport? There we go. I, I found the one use for them. Yeah. Is there my Hadouken? There my projectile? There. It, it, kind of an Eddie. Kind of an Eddie like character. Or a Zato one, huh. depending on which one you're playing. Ow. Oh, my guy's special move is uh, bad to pull off. <laughs> I'm trying to do my super move too. Even no, though I know I'm, it won't I'm work. Gonna, I'm I'm going to go ahead and assume I can't do this one because it involves upward diagonal into down. So I don't think <laughs> Fuck that. I think this game is going to break under that pressure. Yeah, who'd have thought you know that? I, I, I want to. I want to see you do your special. I, I'm absolutely not going to do my special because. Oh, wait. It, wait, it, I want to see down you do backwards that last forwards. move you just. Oh, I want to see you do that last move you just did. The one where you just stand in the air and spin. That's just in the air, or yeah, like that. No, I might have to pick that. Once we run out, like you pick Ayer for the next one. I'm going to pick Ginny because I. I remember this character now, because I mentioned this character does not animate. <laughs> this character, like, really refuses to ever animate. Alright, character yeah, select. I'll pick, I'll pick Jenny this time, and then you pick our last one, Aya. Let's see what Aya's colors are. Normal. All right, slightly different. Nope. Luck of the Irish. Happy St. Patrick's Day in advance. And uh, vampire. vampire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's make a random. Random. Then, then we'll pick who we think our best characters are. And you can uh, demolish me one last time after this matchup. Okay. And then maybe I'll play one. I'll make one attempt against the CPU and just see how just how cruel they are. Look at that! Look at that animation! Yeah. That <laughs> oh, so I is a charge character, which is unfortunate for yes. me. You know, for Come charge back, moves, her moves really don't like have much distance or can't really be like have that much power either. What is what is this? Nah, whatever it was, I lost it. Oh, was that my super? No, it wasn't my super. Oh, jeez, Louise. That can stop me from trying to do my super. 
I think she might be from like a Phoenix Wright type of game. Yeah, or some something. sort of legal proceeding game. Yeah. Because she, she has, like, her hair braid has, like, handcuffs on them, it looks like. Yeah, it, keep, it keeps doing my other move. But it keeps doing my, my quarter circle. When I try to do forward, I, I tap. Okay, so tap forward, half circle, and heavy. And I just, I just don't know how it expects me to do that without triggering that other move. It's just, it's, there's some specific timing here that it is absolutely eluding me. Maybe with an analog stick. You know, if they if it bothered to fucking support an analog stick, maybe this would be, all be different, but I what, somehow doubt like, it. I think it's just the fundamentals of this game. I think it is just putting a fighting game in the hands of a developer that doesn't know the mechanics of a fighting game. Yeah, I, I know you said this game is, is fine or ever. This is a huge fucking yeah. disappointment. This is a huge bummer note to end on. It's a fun gimmick. No, no. But I think it's I think it's fun to end on because we're culminating in every character. So half of them we haven't seen, but <laughs> the <laughs> fact that they made us a a uh, what you call it a Smash Brothers X celebration of all the characters, and it came out in Europe. Even though half of these games did not come out in Europe. <laughs> All right, I think my best character was this lady, but it also could have been because I was up against the worst possible opponents, and you still won with them, so. All right, Princess Vol versus Ryo Futaba, the fight of the century. Pull up the move list again. Okay. Random? No, let's do it in the Burnt Down City. Okay. Like, full circle. End where we began. Because I think Demolition Girl was the first game we played in the first episode of this, right? It was, yes. Yeah. I feel like normals can kind of almost like Gatling into a combo. Which is to say, you can just string singular buttons together. Ow. I have one possible way to win. And you better believe I'm gonna use it to the fullest. Wait, no, get up, get up! Let me hit you! God damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm kicking the dirt. I feel that peace of all. Do you feel what I feel though? Like once you get locked into a hit, even just like outside the combo, even when you get knocked down, that you can just do wake up damage so like easily in this that it feels like nigh impossible to escape from stuff. And your opponent is nice enough to back off while you're while you're down. Uh, I'm not feeling that, but it would be rude if I said why. <laughs> I think I'm fucked. Oh. Oh, you blocked it. Okay, that does not do on the ground damage. That's an incredible move to finish me off with. Well played, I... Sharky. You are the all-star fighting uh, champion. And uh, for your prize, you get to do a uh, attempted single player mode. Sure. I'll stick with Rio. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna switch uh -oh. you to player one. I'm, I'm gonna switch Oh, yeah, that inputs. would make sense. Yeah. Alright, go wild. Cosmos says Rio S tier confirmed. I would love to see a tier list for this.
We, we it's, it's party, party time. time. <laughs> now you go for it. Battle Fest are all the craziest characters you've ever seen. All boys and girls, ladies and gents, sit right back, shake your hands and feet, get ready for the exciting fist swinging melee. Let's see who would be the strongest and weirdest of all. So that's a definitely a framing device for this. This would be like, isn't aren't these characters so weird? Because I mean, what else this is the is European gonna translation going to do up. with this watch shit? Watch you watch. Yes. How else is the European translation supposed to handle this? I'm sure the Japanese translation was something different. My dream is to be a number one pop star. You will not stop me. My dream My is to dream be a is... champ in the dark society. I will use you to climb up to the top. Now, it is cute that I they like have this... like these pre-battle dialogues yeah. with each other. I really like this stage's music. And this is just on the normal difficulty. This is on three out of five, yeah. I think. Got him on the ropes. We'll probably timer scam him too if you needed to. I really wanted to, yes. It was even more impressive for Rio is that she's doing this all in uh, in heels. Heels, yeah. Well, that's why this move hurts so much. Get a super finish. I'll do it for round two. Granted, like, why am I trying to save my meter? <laughs> <laughs> I do not understand the... Uh, other mechanic with the uh, R2 button, so there's nothing else to spend my meter on. Like, I remember it trying it, and I don't think it's a proper, like, parry or anything. And I don't think I've ever seen anything online that said, hey, here's how, like, everything in this game works. Oh, something of interest. The PAL version of this game is missing the intro cutscene present in the Japanese version of this game. So apparently the Japanese huh. release is more feature complete. It has some like animated or FMV intro. It's got all the plot there. Yeah. They're never going to beat the intro to, what was it, a Deadly Strike? Where they introduced all the characters in that game. That, that was cinema, is what that was. All right, super finish. Ryan. He's being... That it was being uncooperative with me. <laughs> Which is Story of this game. I, it's weird that this is the character who I was doing it the most consistently with. I think that's the thumbnail. I think that's the thumbnail image for this final <laughs> episode. It's just her posing in front of a bloody floor and a, and a sword on the floor. That's Yeah, that's a good one. Fans will be divided if you exist. Wah! Wah. Wah. No, I can't lose this fight for my fans. I have a feeling we're not getting through the entirety of arcade mode in this. No, it seems like you're doing fine against the CPU. You really oversold yeah. me on how hard the CPU was. Or maybe you're just really fucking good. Okay. I the CPU gets harder and if you do if you try to do time attack mode fuck the CPU <laughs> like I got to the point in time attack because I was trying to get uh, that final super move unlocked just to get everything and like I turned the game down to like 25% speed so I could get as much of an advantage as possible and the computer will just like block everything. It is frame re it is not frame reading, it is reading your inputs so hard. Sexy! I'll tell you what, finish this fight, get another win, give us another victory screen. It's, it's fucked up because they have victory screens, they have these victory animations, but they don't have them in the versus mode. 
I guess I really thought they had a competitive ambitions for the yeah. versus mode, where there's like cut all the cut all the fat from this, yeah. trim all the fat, put all the animations and stuff, uh, take the strip it out of that. Yeah, that's specifically for Evo. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, will, I will say the final boss of this game is also Riho, but it is a like possessed Riho that you fight in the city stage. Ah. So it's like the bad ending of Demolition Girl <laughs> is the final boss of this game. But it's the good ending of Rio has to defeat the evil Rio in the final stage. Yeah. I would like to do a super move one more time. I don't know why I can't pull it off anymore. Because this game fucking sucks. I like this game. It's not a good game, but I like this game. I just feel like the fighting game genre is one that is so defined by, like, getting the fundamentals down and failing that, what are you doing? Gao win quote would be so upset at you right now. Yeah, well, I'm not here to make friends. Except for you, Charky. I, I am. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Uh, Let's see this character intro. Let's see this this exchange between these these sure. two titans of industry. Who's coming up next? Ha! Ah, hiya! Hiya! Rar! Shrif! How is my uh, Kung Fu Kata? That's very offensive. You suck. Uh, is what Shin Fu Yu says. Blink! She... What the hell is this girl? She just screams, Blink! Alright. We get into there. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, All-Star Fighters. I'm going to hit buttons until you close this window. Yeah. You're free. All right. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. I'm going to play that again later myself. Sure. I forgot that I actually do enjoy playing this game. Easy to forget. Uh, yeah. You know what that leaves us with? Uh, for, for the last time, let's cut to the ranking screen. We have five games to put on here. Let's start with Global Defense Force. Better than Monster five. Attack, you think? I would say better than... Uh, you know, yes, I would say better than Monster Attack, because it has the uh, Wing Divers. Party Carnival was really fun, though. It was. But I think um, Global I would, Defense Force is probably better, isn't it? I, yeah, I would personally say so. I think I would have to. I think I would have to agree in, in this instance that Global Defense Force is probably the best of the simple games to get yeah. localized for the well, European. Who markets. knows? Maybe the next game will be better. The next game is uh, Global Defense Force Tactics. Scroll down. Uh, not all no, the way at the bottom. Not all the way down. Yeah, that that's being too mean. How does it compare against Forty Four Party? Uh, okay, so here's what I'm going to say what I said earlier. This is not a game for either of us. I like strategy games. So, That's a bad strategy game. It's, yeah, it is not, it is not the worst tactics game. It's not one of the better tactics games. I would put it above Paparazzi Below for 44 Party. I can live with that. Yeah. Defense Force Tactics. Capitalize that D. Zombie Hunters. Where did we put the other? I'm looking for what it. Was, what was the first game? I'll, I'll know it when I see it. Zombie Zone? Is that it? Yeah, Zombie Zone. Put it one above Zombie Zone. It has one extra character. <laughs> Zombie Hunter is the new 25. Zombie Hunters 2. Okay. That goes a play few... significantly better. Yeah. It, it was still, uh, I think, uh, too poorly paced. It was, like, the pacing was killer. But in, t in terms of, like, fighting zombies individually, they took way less damage. It was so much less of a pain to play it. There was more mechanics to it with the... the uh, shotgun and some of the launchers and stuff i don't i don't remember the other uh oni shambara games having the launchers or the previous ones i mean maybe i didn't go for them but better or worse than deadly I... strike 
Deadly Strike is the weird one the pre-rendered backgrounds, right? Yeah. I would say better than that. I kind of really ended up liking Project Minerva Professional. Not really like it. It was, well, it was good enough. It was a totally adequate game. I feel like it's in I that zone. Say... I don't know if it's above or below. If Zombie Hunters 2 trumps or comes in right below it. But I think that's the zone. I think that's I, the area. Yeah, I, I agree. It's either one above or one below Project Minerva. But I did not play Project Minerva. So it's hard for me to say. I think Project Minerva had more depth in terms of like unlocks and progression and stuff. So in terms of that, it's, it's offering more in the department yeah. of you're unlocking things and then feeling like I mean, you're, you're earning, I would think. I know there's uh, a stat progression in Zombie Hunters too. Yeah, there is stat progression. There is like unlockable characters and stuff, but uh, it did seem like Project Minerva had more in the moment unlocks. Yeah. At the, at the very least. It, it kept you on that treadmill in, in a good way. As, as good as that statement can be, I guess. Uh, all Star welcome. Fighters. About to say welcome to the uh, end of the uh, end of your <laughs> BCR. Uh, I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom, but it, it so seemed like a wait, bad fighting game. All Star Fighter. All Star Fighters. The last game. I, I, okay. Even though I have fun with it, I will admit that it is not a good fighting game. So I, I would not put it in broken tier. Uh, Around better than Dragon Sisters, it's to a, be sure. It's at least I would say it's at least more fun than like Global Defense Force Tactics. I'll like, grant you that in not one spot higher. You know, Forty-four yeah, yeah, that's party fine. will that, somehow that come is, out ahead of that. That is fine. That it, I, like personally, if this was just my list, I would put it higher. But that feels right for a combined list. I'm willing to admit that it's not a good fighting game, even if I had fun with it. All right. With, with that said, this is our list. Uh, as far as as far as I can seize it, I'll go down it in a minute. Uh, first, I'm going to say that you know that this is the end of the Euro trip. Yes, but there, I still want to do like a highlight video. I think where we go through this list that we've assembled here, and you know, sort of highlight you know moments from each of the playthroughs. And then we'll go through it. We'll start from the best one, and then it'll end with the worst one. And uh, it'll be a fun little recap video of, of this series that we spent so much time on. And it's been a fun one, uh, despite the high, you know, it's had a lot of highs and a lot of lows. <laughs> we can say that much. But definitive rankings. Number one, best game we've played out of the 65 games here has been Global Defense Force. Number two, Party Carnival. Number three, Monster Attack. Number four, Space War Attack. Number five, Splattermaster. Six, The Adventures of Darwin. Seven, Pink Pong. Eight, Basketball Exciting. Nine, Runabout 3, Neo Age. Ten, Maxed Out Racing Nitro. Eleven, Heartbeat Boxing. Twelve, Boxing Champions. Thirteen, Fighting Angels. Fourteen, Street Golfer. Fifteen, World Fighting. Sixteen, Zombie Virus. Seventeen, Radio Helicopter. I don't know how the fuck it wound up so high on this, but there it is. Eighteen, Project Minerva Professional. Nineteen, Zombie Hunters 2. Twenty, Deadly Strike. Twenty-one, Party Girls. Twenty-two, Special Forces. Twenty-three, Steel Dragon EX. Twenty-four, Eternal Quest. Twenty-five, Yakuza of Fury. Twenty-six, Zombie Hunters. Twenty-seven, Zombie Zone. Twenty-eight, Zombie Attack. Uh, the zombie trilogy there. 29, Snowboard Racer 2. 30, Deep Water. 31, Buccaneer R, maybe. 32, Puzzle Maniacs. 33, Billiards Exciting. 34, Police Chase Down. 35, Maxed Out Racing. 36, Motorbike King. 37, Jack. 38, Demolition Girl. 39, Bust a Block. 40, Tank Elite. 41, Shogun's Blade. 42, Space Invaders Invasion Day. 43, Dodgeball. 44, Taxi doing. Rider. 45, 44, see? Party. <laughs> you know... One adjustment. Sure, it feels right. 44 is 44 party. 45 is taxi rider. It's funny how close it landed there naturally. But uh, <laughs> 46, all-star fighters. 47, global defense force tactics. 48, paparazzi. 49, ultimate mind games. 50, car racing challenge. 51, volleyball challenge. 52, Roller Coaster World. 53, Ultimate Casino. 54, Street Boys. 55, Dragon Sisters. 56, Iron Sea. 57, Master Chess. 58, Dirt Track Devils. 59, Tennis Court Smash. 
asterisk. I don't know how the fuck I ended up that low on the list. Uh, well, the asterisk say that Cass is right. Uh, so 60, 22 party, 61, pinball fun, 62, volleyball exciting, 63, bowling exciting, and 64, the worst game is fitness fun as part of the Euro trip. Drink up. Don't fucking mind if I do. Hmm. Well, that's been the Euro trip. But, uh. That's been every single game that, uh, in the Simple Series that was released in Europe. I can't help but feel like we missed something there. Uh. No, oh, I'm going through them in my head. Got them all, right? Yeah, I would think that... Wait. Wait, there's something emerging from the shadows. Something from the recesses of my mind, of my memory. I... Oh, God, we did miss one, Sharky. What? Crash Bandicoot? No, that wasn't simple. No, no, it's... it's Crash much darker. No, that still wasn't simple. Sharky. We missed the game that we started this entire series to get to. Crash Bandicoot 3. Right. Oh. Oh, that one. Oh. Right about that one. Yeah, I did too. Funny how that worked out. The Sniper 2. Well, yeah. we're out of time for today. I don't think we can cover that one right now. No, I, I don't think we can. I think we're going to have to come back and... Maybe play that one in full, because that one is truly infamous. Uh, <laughs> pardon the theatrics. Excuse me in my, in my, my theatrical uh, nature. But uh, yes, uh, that little teaser there is to indicate that we will, in fact, come back and play the true final game of the Euro Trip, that being The Sniper 2. So I was lying. I led you all astray. I, I knew from the start we had one more game to cover. <laughs> and I, I lied to your faces. But we will play the Sniper 2, uh, possibly as soon as this coming Thursday. How about that? That's, that's a good time for it with our... Yeah. Uh, we, we have a, a, a free day on that day. So, and maybe we'll even play a little bit of the original The Sniper as part of the 1500 series, uh, just to give a little bit of precious context to that release. So, did that also get a European release? No, it did not. That one was exclusively in Japan. Okay. So, for the Euro trip, though, for, for the, the format, the format is done. We, we've exhausted all the games we had on the list, save for the one, which we're doing as a standalone thing. But, uh, fuck, that was fun. That yeah. was, it, it does feel like, I feel like we have accomplished something by getting through so many episodes of this, through so many games. Eight episodes, six months, 64 games. I... It, it feels like we really committed to it and, and got some hours of content out and I hope the folk uh, we send them home happy with this one I'm I'm seeing people in the chat are pretty thrilled about it and I'm glad to, to hear that uh, though some people are unsubbing because of the lies yeah. which you know also understand uh, but thank you everyone who, who stuck with it for this long for, for uh, f from the beginning uh, once we do officially wrap the Euro trip we, with the Sniper 2, we, we will uh, start up a new long-term series that we'll, we'll pick up on Saturdays intermittently, toggle between that, flip between that and other variety streams that we do on Saturday. But, uh, you know, thank you for, for tuning in. Thank you for the people that have followed us as part of this series, subscribed, consider giving us your time, attention, your money, your precious time. Uh, we, we, we uh, hope to continue to provide great streams in the future, so on and so forth. P please to join the Discord. Please to consider supporting the channel, having a say in what we do uh, with streams going forward, voting for games. Uh, so, so many ways uh, to, to support us and, to, and to, for us to show our appreciation back it is what we want to work towards here. And uh, yeah, hot damn. Uh, you have any closing thoughts on the Euro trip? Uh, this was your idea, feels, by the way. Yeah, this was like one of the first ideas I think I had for the stream. Uh, 
Yeah, it's been real fun. This It's, you know, kind of sad to see it go, but uh, we got other ideas for, like, long-term stuff that I've been looking forward to. And we're going to, you know, behind the scenes, we'll discuss things and figure out what we're going to do next. But th these really long-form theme things, these theme nights in general, have always, I think, been a highlight for us. Most certainly. So, you know, sad to see this one go, but looking forward to what we got going, coming next. Absolutely. Before we sign off for the night, uh, we should see if someone else is streaming at the moment. Uh, yeah, a few different people streaming. How about we send some viewers the Mega64 podcast's way, or the Mega64 streaming channel's way. They're playing the coin game currently, which is a fun one. Uh, and you know, we we were talking about we were talking about Mega Sixty Four earlier in the stream today, so it's apropos yeah. uh, to an extent. Uh, yeah, I've been Cassidy. I'm Jarky. Bye. Good night, everybody. <laughs>